His Royal Majesty is the Ugobusi Okudoku. He is a man that did so many things to so many people. You are in that palace for a mission. Do you still remember the mission? I know the mission like the back of my palm. And I cannot forget it. All you have, I have given to you. Be proud of nothing, because none is yours. I understand it, my lady. That is the last thing I will do. This mission is my life. I cannot play with it. I'm here to serve you, my lady. Just so you be I will not let you mess things up the way Christine did. You witnessed how she came dead with her life. I understand, my lady. But sometimes I feel like something is getting on our way. The king seems distracted. And I feel it's because of his new position. Christine was with him before he became king. It has never been a problem to us. I can feel where the distraction is coming from. However, you have been given all you need to bring this mission to a successful end. I have fully possessed the princess to assist you. I want everything the king has. I want all of his wealth brought to me. I will serve you, you great queen of the GPC. Can you speak to me plainly? Who are you talking about? I'm covered in the blood of the Lamb. I come against you in the name of Jesus. have anything to do with you. We do not belong together. I am the son of the light, and light and darkness have nothing in common. I am talking about the king. We distracted him through your prayers. We praying for him. Please, it is getting on my way. Darkness have nothing. 
For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the evil towards all that shoulders against me, they shall stumble and fail. They shall stumble and fail. They shall stumble and fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear friend, the Lord shall have Hallelujah. When a woman has a caliber of man like you, besides that, she will also sleep very well. Mm -hmm. So I did. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that reminds me. I slept worried last night. How come you stayed up so late? Huh? Is it necessary? My little wife used to stay up and work so late. I tried to stop her, but I couldn't. I don't want you to do the same. I know that my friend is happy with me wherever she is. Mm. She knows that I will do everything possible to make her happy. Mm. And that includes keeping you warm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are a blessing to me. Oh. My happiness. I will surely do and give everything to ensure that you stay happy yourself. <laughs> it's getting better by the day. <laughs> you are king now. And you know how important it is for a king to have a queen by his side. Prime Minister, you know I lost my wife not too long ago. So what are you saying? That she should be replaced in the nation. I don't understand this delay. The modesty, you are king. So, I am king, yes. A new king. The very first king of Obodoku Autonomous Community. Our standards are not like the standards of those kings out there. We must not do things just because others are doing them. Listen, I am a military officer and I do not play to the gallery. We don't have to do what others are doing. Prime Minister, don't look at me that way as if you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand exactly what you are saying, Prime Minister. But I just need to make you understand. It seems as if you are still living in the past. You are no longer that army general that you used to have in the you are now the king of this kingdom. Your Majesty, a king is a king. Whether he is a king in Urugu, in Enugu, in Agufu, in Enugu, in Omana, anywhere, a king is a king. We forgot to add one thing. That once a general, always a general. I know, Your Majesty. But try to remember. You came out to lead this kingdom. And you won that election in that last life election. You do have to, you have to show good example to other kings that will likely come after you. That's what I'm saying. So, Prime Minister, if I understand you very well, what good example is it that I am not showing to others? By not replacing my late wife with another woman immediately? Oh, come on, Prime Minister, you should know better than that. You and I rule over this kingdom. And like you said, I'm the very first king of Ubuntu community. We should be thinking of how to achieve the aims of this new system of leadership instead of discussing women. We are on that issue of discussing women, your majesty. Maybe something that the others don't know. Oh. I know myself. Yeah. Your majesty, you already have been a woman in this palace and I am after.
I know what this document will do for me. I know that it will automatically change my life. It will make me richer by billions. But what would my lady think of me if I do this? Your Highness, such an important document I don't need from everyone. General Johnson, I am talking about a confidential document that I left in my inner room. Not outside, my inner room. But we have searched virtually everywhere. It's not here. I do not see any reason why anyone would kill himself or herself over a piece of paper. It's not a matter of life or death. Johnson! Johnson! That document is a document that gives me access to my GOE pension in the UK. That document is for billions of naira. Oh, now you see the picture. Why it seems like I want to kill myself. And now, I have the same document. What more? I know what to do with it. To make myself richer. I'll just know that I will get it back. And so. Is that why I'm here? Selena, I thought coming to this underground bar would have helped to ease you. But I guess it was a huge mistake. Wow! Thanks! But no thanks for wasting my two good hearts. I know that all of you are rich and fast. But trust me, Selena is still fit up it. So I'm paying for you to drink. Have fun. She's about to consume herself. I understand exactly what you say, but this is a little bit confusing to me. How confusing is it? Oh Lord, we are talking about billions here. You and I know what such amount will do in our lives. Us. What do you mean, us? You and I. We can't be going to the king, your father, for every little thing. We can't be doing that. What about the sister? And then, forget our mission? This is not what Madame Owen is looking for. She doesn't even know this exists. 
Madame Powell is angry. She wants nothing but everything. And you know that. Now, can we even leave Madame Powell for a moment and think about this from another angle? What do you think will happen when my father finds out? me, I think this is an opportunity for you to finally secure a good place for yourself in the king's heart. And then make this easier for us. Return the document. Give it back. Or I'm talking about huge money. Are you going to grow? What was that for? For your big head. Why are you dropping on us right now? He's dropping on you. Beautiful nonsense. Do I look like an idle man for you? Have you no shame at all? Did you just say shame? I am not the one sleeping with my best friend's husband. She's right beside me. So shame on her. Young man. Princess. Don't mind this. They cut me on this Why the sudden friendship? I must find out what this new friendship is all about. I must. Beautiful monster. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get this mission over and done with. Do not complicate issues for us. You are right. Ahana is one reason why we should be done fast. I'm glad you noticed. He is becoming more skeptical by the day. And that is dangerous. Right. For that single purpose, you must understand that you were created not to just exist. You were created for a purpose. There is a reason why God created you. There is a reason why God chose you. And you must, as a Christian, identify with that purpose. Let me read 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 for you. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. For you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should shoot off the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise the Lord. 
You need to understand that you are a chosen generation. You are a special species in Christ. So it doesn't matter what is happening around you. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. Your background does not have anything to do with your destiny. There is a reason why God chose you. You need to understand and identify with that purpose. I've never seen a king as free as you are. Watching television at this time of the day. Well, that's why they call me a king of one kind. Very different one. Come on, come and sit with me. Let's listen to Reverend Okuchuku together. Why do you like wasting your time? Have oh, you ever seen me listen to any of these generation preachers? So what is different about him? I don't want you to get yourself involved in this game. A retired senior military officer, Don King, a man that has seen it all, shouldn't be reminded that all these ministries are businesses. <laughs> you may be right, my dear, but this one speaks directly to the soul. It's different. And he just doesn't talk, he ministers. And I can make bold to say that he ministers life. And we all need life. Darling, why do I have this persistent God feeling that you don't trust me? Because you don't watch Reverend Okuchuku's messages. Come on, darling. <laughs> Not that. Do you trust me? Can you trust me with your life? <laughs> why do you ask such a question? You practically live with me in this house. I don't have any maids that are running around and running around for me. You make my meals. How else would I show you that I trust and love you, even with my life? Is this the document you were looking for? I found it. Where did you get this? Hmm. How did you do it? Do you know what you have done? You have just saved this man from hypertension that would have killed him. What? One for you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Why do you hate her so much? I don't hate her. Yes, you do. I do not. You do? Why are you putting it on me as if you are not sure? Yes. Why are you hopeless? You say you don't hate her, but your attitude says otherwise. You hate her. We all know you do. Dad is worried about it, and you know that too. Princess Oledo, you are deviating from the point. My point is this. What is her mission in our house? What is that supposed to mean? She's a friend of the family. Yeah, a friend of the family. Yeah. Now, does that give her the right to start sleeping with dad the moment mom died? Dad is in complaint, and you shouldn't too. Dad's life changed the moment he became the king of Obodogo Kingdom. Princess Oledo, you're still not making sense. You're deviating from the point. Why is she all over dad? That's what I want to know. 
God is required to take him a wife now that he's king. He personally told me that the Prime Minister is breathing down his neck for it. Now supposing he's to yield to the pressure, would you rather he marries a total stranger? Oh yeah? So you all have this well planned out. So she's hovering around that so dad can make her his second wife, right? The second? Second wife? How can she be a second wife when her mom is dead? Hmm? Mm. You need to grow some brains. I have noticed the wrinkles your past day and it is giving me concern. I hate to see one of my own grow cold toward the affairs of this sacred boy. You will talk to me, won't you? My lady, today I was initiated into this sacred order to serve you. I was promised Continuous promotion. You have three million naira at your disposal at the end of every month. Money is not everything, my lady. My honor. My honor is more important to me. My lady, I feel cheated. The sisters that came after me have better honor than I do. Why? It is time to make a retreat. Correct all that you're not doing now. Because I give my honor according to the revenue that my subjects bring. But it is also that That's all beautiful nonsense. Congrats, Dad. That's for you, Claire. Sorry for your loss because I know you don't get I have dirty on this upstairs to wash. Better than this, Claire. Beautiful nonsense. Who saw me see? Because it's certainly not mine. However, that guy that just left is the prince of Obodoko Kingdom. And in royalty is what I know it to be. The 
found the chance to be the next king of Udubu after his father is gone. Never. Not in Udubu. Never. Royalty in Udubu has been reduced to election. Nobody is going to be Not his wife anyway. <laughs> well then, looks to me like somebody is trying to lure me into kingdom politics. But guess what? I'm not here for it. No, I'm not. So, how about we discuss something else? Something more refreshing. Listen, I don't know if you use one thing. Trust me, I dislike you. Disgust me. I don't like you one bit. Can't you understand? Why do you always talk to me as if I'm a stranger? Of course you are. You're a stranger. I'm to cry with you You bag into my room without my consent. I'm a full grown man. I might be doing some private stuff. By stroking your four inches. Uh... <laughs> Listen, don't tell me you've been looking at me in the phone. Oh, come on, stop it. Don't have some stupid thoughts about me. You know I'm not like that. In fact, you know I'm more than that. I am part of this family. I grow up and cut down on this hatred. Listen, you are not part of this family. As far as I'm concerned, you are nothing but a gold digger who is sucking my father dry. I hate you for that. Period. Time will come when you will realize that I mean so much to this family. That I love this family. Then you will look for a way to apologize to me. But you will lack words. On your mercy, you wife. Leave my room. I hate you. I hate everything about you. I, I hate you. It looks so simple. It looks so ordinary. I see great courts from where women rule the world. It is deep, deeper than the eyes of men. They call it the deep sea Prince Ahana is an empty skull. How is he a problem to my mission? He's setting things back for us somehow. Anyone that stands in the way of my mission is a problem. The praying boy is a huge distraction. Have you succeeded in stopping the king from listening to his broadcast like I instructed? I'm a leader. But that is a big threat. Especially now that he's using the same My lady, perhaps if Ahana has a little knowledge of this. He will be less antagonistic towards Claire. We do not need him to accomplish this mission. He will make no impact. He's making a negative impact. He's antagonistic. He's distracting us all. He is my brother. My twin brother. But he is a huge distraction to us. You have been given all that you need to accomplish this task. Use that power on the team now that you can. Because very soon, you'll be living like every other team out there. That means no privacy. We need to be done with him as soon as we can. Forget about that. It's just a ripple that can only run. Stay focused.
about this in your brother's house. That's the place in your brother's house. So let me worry about that. Why are you taking me to the slaughter room? Come. Oh, really? I can't wait to the slaughter room. Hi. That was hot. I mean, I know you're hot stuff yourself, but. You. You are a woman killer. Whew. Well, I guess that's what happens when you make out with a woman. You know. Mm -hmm. Yet you keep resisting her. You keep making her beg for it. Why do you do that, though? Baby. Yeah. We do this almost every other day. So? You have a problem with that? No. No, not so. Now, can we talk about something else? Yes. What? what kind of thing would you rather talk about? Uh, I know what we can talk about though. See my back? My back kind of features from behind, so you might want to scratch that for me. If it's, it's right here. This one, come on, scratch. You said you wish to marry her. We have not thought it wise to bring her to church. Oh, Reverend, actually, that is why I'm here. I, I know I'm not supposed to bring her just to the church, but also to you. And, um, what is stopping you? Reverend, you see, I have my reservations about her, especially about her religious limitations. Is she a Christian? I mean, is she a believer? She said she is. She said she is, or you know she is. Ah, Reverend, that is why I said I have my suspicions about her. Especially her religious orientations. She's hardly willing to discuss her faith, that's just the truth. Oh, I see. So, for how long have you been seeing her? Um, say, four months, or about four months. Four months. This month, your faith and commitment is beginning to be shaky. I know you must have noticed that too. Why are you slacking? No, but the truth, the truth is that I've, I've noticed that too. I find it find it difficult to pray most times. And I, this time around, I, I see myself as if I am not getting connected to God. I don't know how to explain it. I see. Well, if you are able to come together with her to see me, that is if you strongly believe that the relationship is what you want for yourself. Thank you very much, Shepard. You're welcome. I'll be just like that. And this one, you must do something about your spiritual life in the universe. I hope you understand. God bless you. A new covenant I give unto you that you must love one another as I have loved you. That you also love one another. He's trying to employ us here to love. But there is no love without giving. There is no love without sacrifice. Jacob so loved his son Joseph that he gave him a coat of many coats. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him 
will not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus so loved the church that he gave his life for her advice. There must be a price to pay if you say you love someone. If you claim you love God, you must give your life to Jesus. Because any man living without Christ is living at the mercy of the evil one. Give your life to Jesus. That is what I'm preaching to you. Give your life to God. If you give your life to Jesus, you are satisfied to live as a human. Because life without Christ is heresy. Life without Christ is disaster. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. The best thing that can happen to you is to live a Christ-like life. A life full of Christ. Praise the Lord. I hope you've been blessed with this broadcast. Till I come your way this time next week. I remain your reverend, Okuchuku. God bless you. I pray for you. The good Lord will remain with you. We did that. Oh, Anna. how are you? I'm fine. Are you home alone? Um, I am, but Akia is upstairs preparing to go to the orphanage. <laughs> Beautiful nonsense. That, honestly speaking, I can't wait for us to start living like one big royal family. When we shall have beautiful maidens to keep us company, especially when your <coughs> Lady B is not available. Ah, what is up? How would you talk about Claire like that? Come on. Why you? Don't do that. Come on, Dad. Among 15 men who contested for the autonomous king of Obodogo, you got it. That simply means you are smart. Why have you failed to understand that Claire is here to suck you dry? She's here to take, 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 take at all the men of orphanage. Why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Hannah? You stand here and castigate the orphanage just before me? The same orphanage that your mother dedicated all her life to? You're supposed to be defending the orphanage and not castigating it. Well, it's just like a family cause. Another beautiful nonsense. Claire is now considered as family, right? Now considered as family. Hello? Oh, yes, um, are you ready to go to the orphanage now? Yes, darling. I'm already running late. I hope you remember the request I made last night. Oh, I'll get you the check. There he goes again. What a beautiful nonsense. It's always a case of someone writing checks and the other one cashing them. The political concept of change has grounded our economy into recession. Why are we not feeling it in this house? Why? Are your plans to suck you dry, right? All in the name of God. If mom went about it this way, I'm sure dad wouldn't have been able to do this. Who is for me? You see, you are just a child. But I will wait until when you decide to and that is if you will ever Another beautiful nonsense. Having four inch penis is still growing up. Alright. I bet you will still be around when it becomes fourteen inches. Listen, place is very, very desperate. And they are not in part of this. No one sees her that way. Everybody keeps pumping her and treating her like she's the best thing that happens after Christmas. 
Sarah. Sarah, what has she done to Sarah? From the way she's going with my father, I might end up having only emotion. How do you say things like that? Mm, I see that someone is concerned about losing out to the woman in his father's eyes. Come on, are you jealous? I'm not jealous. I'm just what? very honest. Okay? She's evil, but everybody sees her as a wonderful person. I can you say that like that? Baby, you don't have to, okay? See, you don't have to worry about your issues. Julia is not your enemy. And the king loves you convincingly. So there's no way the king is going to give something that belongs to each other. It's not possible. Why am I even discussing this with you? I just say, oh, you think I'm fish, right? Just massage me. You think so? Just massage me because no matter how I try to explain, Never understand. Of course, I understand. Massage me. You're not my girl as well. Excuse me. What are you saying? Baby, just calm down, okay? Calm down and understand me. Of course, I understand you. In fact, I understand you perfectly. You have a problem with my sexual orientation. No. No, I don't. Listen, I am a man who loves you and I will do anything to keep you happy. Okay, all I'm saying is that it's affecting my spiritual life and I just want us to, to slow down a little uh, bit. Please. Your spiritual life? Which one? You want to starve me of sex? No. Then why are you my boyfriend? I will do no such thing. No. Let me see, I am not just your boyfriend. I am not. I am a man who loves you and I am ready to love you forever. You know it. Yes, ma'am. Where is this coming from? I mean, you never had any problem with my sexual life. Our sexual relationship was fine. Are you seeing somebody else? No. No, no, no. I am not seeing anybody. Why would I do a thing like that? Come on! I'm sure you can do better than that. Baby. Mother, why put all your hope in human? Hmm? Reverend, I know. I know that he promised to do this. How do we raise enough funds within one way to do this? You see, the good Lord did not make a mistake when he said we should not worry about anything. Instead, in all things, we should give him thanks. In every situation, we should give him thanks. That is what I always preach. I know, I know that, Reverend. I do believe in miracles and all that, but are you aware an invitation has been sent out? Posters, flyers, to people everywhere, and people from all over the states are coming? Are you aware of that? Well, um, the church can handle the conference. 
because um, we are two million naira richer. Two million naira richer? Mm -hmm. I mean, how? I mean, from where? Well, um, they don't know that refused to max himself. Did it again yesterday? He deposited two million naira into our account. <laughs> You just made a minute. You are not serious, aren't you? I'm is serious. It, is it the same person that goes by the name the king? Yes, exactly. I remember the dream I had. And I know deeply in my heart that this secret donor, the king, is someone the church must protect, even to the point of shedding blood. We must always pray for him. Olid, yes. what are you doing? I'm admiring this car. You're admiring this car? You are supposed to be criticizing this car. Why would dad spend such amount of money just to buy Claire a car? Why? This right here is a gift from Dad to Claire for returning the documents. And Dad has promised to buy me mine too. That's my point. Dad promised you a car, right? Mm -hmm. So why didn't he buy both at the same time? Why? Stop it. You really should stop it. What's wrong with you? Stop this silliness. Are you getting more foolish by the day? All this nonsense antagonism you have going on for Claire is beginning to piss me the hell off. I'm not finding it funny. Daddy is not me. That is clear. Because you both are under her spell. Open your eyes. You both are under her spell. Why would Dad spend such amount of money in buying her a new car just because she ret she returned the, the documents? Was well, she supposed to run away with, with it before? Huh? Listen, I hate Claire. I hate everything about her. She should leave this house. <laughs> news flash. She's not going anywhere. Oh, and by the way. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, could you? Listen, this is not a kitchen. This is my father's house. Claire must leave. Why would that spend such a lot of money in my house? Hey, you never thought you would find yourself here. Exactly. Why would someone wake me up from my beautiful sleep and bring me out here for no just cause? Is it a gown party? What is happening? Anna, will you shut no, you shut up and listen. I should be the one talking here. What am I doing here? I will have no one stand in the way of my mission. Your constant antagonism towards Claire is slowing down things for us. We only work in an atmosphere of peace and harmony. Mm. First and foremost, what do you mean by us? We. What is us? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Can someone tell me why I'm here? What's she saying? Ahana, your eyes on mine. My eyes on yours. As what? Ahana, your eyes on mine. Now! I can't see any money printing machine in your eyes. Is she okay? Oh. How the hell did you do that? You should have told me it's an eye-making contest. I used to love the game as a child. The silver cord and set me free. You're yet to complete your mission. How do I set your soul free? I have done a lot for the sister. You cannot take it away from me just because of this mistake. 
it is wrong. And if it's it, you are foolish to have made it. This mission that you have failed to complete means everything to this sister who. Don't you understand that? To your children. Make them yours. Let them complete the mission. I wholeheartedly give them to you. Are you serious? What was that for? Oledo. She just took me on a ride to her mother. She was very careless. She messed up and deserves nothing but death. But then, she and Claire came to me with their plans. Wait a minute. Is this a secret call or something? If yes, how is my father involved? Oledo, are you part of this nonsense? Claire is sucking the king dry. Oh, you shut up! Your mother did not accomplish her mission in that house. Claire is here to make sure of that. So you and your sister will give her all the help she needs. Am I understood? No, I'm lost. What are you talking about? The mission is everything about the orphanage. The king must will all he has to me through the orphanage. He becoming king is a problem to us. We never saw it coming. So we must accomplish this mission before he becomes very committed to the kingship. So what happens to me? What happens to his children? Why would he will everything to you? Why? Ahana, you had a choice to either cooperate or not. But from now on, I have made my own choice. You shall quit fighting Claire, but instead be loyal to her cause. What a horrible dream. Are you alright? I'm trying to be. I saw Claire, you, and I. Owene. I don't even know how to explain this. A strange place. Dreams for the friendless, I suppose. So it was really senseless. Anyways, I came to tell you that we are preparing to of my age. And I was hoping to play my day for you to come along. Making sense, I need to. Please let me see how far that has gone. I'm refreshing up. Now the journey will get even smoother. Thank you, my lady. Thank you for the secret initiation into the deep secrets. Deep secrets. Very deep, very deep secrets. She wouldn't take my calls. Okay, the last time I was at you witnessed what happened. It happened before you. You saw everything. Yes, ma'am, you don't understand. That you met my sister through me doesn't mean I should always do this in the normal way which that you guys call it. I know my sis. She's a hard nut. Once she's done with you, she's done with you. And I'm sure you pissed her off, right? And uh, these things are completely unavoidable. You can't avoid it. So what do you want me to do? Be 
villa you'll be out. You don't you don't realize how much I love you. Excuse me, sir. You are embarrassing me with that look. Yes, I'm looking at you because I'm like seeing this frustration and nothing. Why would a young girl like you be walking here? Coming from me like this. How long have you been walking here? I started yesterday. I'm still on probation. Still on probation. No worry, I'll talk to you again. I'll get some more videos. Okay? You are new to what is okay. You embarrassing the girl, what was that for? No, I just told her the truth. Can't you see frustration and poverty in all of our lives? Did she tell you she needs some help? Yes, call it spirit. Why are you moving at me like this? Um, this is the first time in your life that you have made solid sense. I'm surprised. I mean, it's pretty amazing considering this has to do with my happiness, yes. So this one makes you happy? Like you didn't know? Why then do you always think that to you? He pissed me off. Pissed me off real bad. I just I needed to make him understand that he shouldn't mess with me like that again. The young man is losing his sleeps. And I know you had to. To do what's necessary and save all of us from this stress. You know, you didn't have to do this whole middleman thing. Before you go bragging, you made me change my mind. Jeez. Please make him believe I did. It has to do with my pride. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> something. You know, this man is a great guy. I mean, he's so great that sometimes I feel like I don't deserve him. Okay. And I have you in my nutty blood to thank for it. Beautiful nonsense. <laughs> Troubled man, pray for me, please. I, 
I have all it takes to have a good life, a happy life, but that eludes me. It's okay. My heart is troubled. Pray for me, pray for me. Jesus will set you free. Jesus will set you free. Just believe. Wherever it is, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I swear to you. of Jesus Christ. I keep seeing this vision. He always comes to destroy me, but ends up crying at my feet. I just saw it now. He is always in an army uniform, but wears the royal cup. I believe that represents those officers, the army and royalty. They are in their need of God's intervention. It could be an individual it could be a group. It's not clear to me now. For that reason, we will embark on a seven day fasting and prayers for all the army officers and royal families in this country. Did you hear me? I believe that the good Lord will one day show to us all we need to know. But that can only come through prayers. Let us go back to our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, that He revealed this vision to us. Coming with my woman that he hates. Hates. Make that make him. Go back. It's all in the past now. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yeah. I've been observing them silently for days now. Does it mean so much to you? Me and I are clear together. Oh, certainly does. <laughs> so where you have only if I propose to her? What? Just kidding. <laughs> that was just a joke. I would have made use of my AK for the seven right away. Who doesn't want it? You deserve it, darling. Hmm. I always knew that I am now will come around. And here we are. I strongly believe that my son has now grown into a responsible and mature young man. Wahoo's going to break. Exactly. I think I should start grooming him to come after me as king. With his state of mind now, I'm sure he will win in that direction. Well, Dad, that can only happen on one condition. You need to add beautiful maidens to the package. Oh, don't worry, we're just beginning. Budoku is just starting. By the time we grow into a kingdom, and then, by the time I become the chairman of the council, I'm going to certainly add that to the package. You said. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, Ahana made us proud today. Could you believe he gave 500,000 naira to your father? Oh, I've never known that my son had such money to give. Or has he started dealing in drugs? Hello, I'm still here and I can hear. You all sound like I'm not here. Beautiful nonsense. I am proud of you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. Well done, baby girl. I see. We see her. We see you. We see you. I'll take care of you. Welcome to the baby girl. <laughs> the negative impressions you and others have about the military are very wrong. We believe you hold that wrong impression out of ignorance. Military officers are actually very disciplined and nice people. <laughs> oh, here she comes to cut our great conversation short. Daddy, I can go back if you want me to. Oh, no, 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 no. In as much as he loves my company, I bet he loves yours more. <laughs> Go ahead and have some fun. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to come with me? Oh, come on, don't ask him that kind of question. Oh. You're going to put him in a fix. Oh, <laughs> it's an honor spending some fun time with you, sir. It's okay, son. Anytime. Thank you, sir. Ladies first. Good afternoon, guys. Alright, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow. You know, my father really likes you. Everybody loves me. Yes. <laughs> Is someone being proud? I'll prove it to you. If you like me, the prince likes me, mm -hmm. the king likes me, the declare likes me. It's not my fault. Okay, can you step away from my family for one second and tell me who else likes you? That's to show you that my heart is buried somewhere in this house. Huh. I like the sound of that. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you too. No, I love you more. No, I love you most, 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 more. Okay, I get it. It's you win. <laughs> You're not saying that's me because it's a trick now, are you? We have been to the worst. He poses a big threat. I don't get it. How so? I mean, this one is a good man. He loves me. Mm -hmm. He respects me. He's not inquisitive. He respects my privacy. He's everything and more. And so what do you mean when you say he poses a threat? He loves you, no doubt. Mm -hmm. He respects your privacy, no that's doubt. That's right, that's right. But he's a big distraction to the target. Yes, he is. I don't see how though. I mean, not once has my relationship with Desmond ever clashed with my mission. I have planned everything out in such a way that the time I spend with him does not in any way get in the way of my work and all that I'm required to do. He still remains a distraction. I have been very obedient, faithful, and loyal to the sister. Do I not deserve to be happy while I carry out my duties for the sister? Sincerely, again. I cannot even bring in sentiment here because it won't help us in any way. It won't at all. Please don't. You 
Maybe that's why it's not the right man for you. Nothing must come between your alliance and the sisterhood. It's your life. Your mother fell Lady Power. You and your brother are the prizes she paid. Princess, I want you to be happy. But you must first safeguard the mission. As if it's your life, in actual sense, it's your life. Even if it will take you for fitting your love life. What? You must do it. Yes, you must. My lady. It's not okay. She can still speak for herself. My lady, you never had a problem with my sexual relationships. We are free to have sexual knowledge as many men as we want. Even with those that will ruin you, this one cannot ruin me. I say it coming. I do not waste my time on things that are not important. This one loves me. In fact, he worships me. He will ruin you when you're not watching. I can feel it. What does my lady want me to do? Choose another man to explore with. Stay away from that love of your life. Claire, I summoned you here with her. So you can be a witness to this. I will not stand anyone that will be a distraction to the mission that I have set you up on. In time. That boy, in time, will distract you. And I will not stand it! But it's secret, it's women that rule the world. We've got a power, we've got a power. The ocean beneath, for we are for well through the world. We worship you, O oh Queen, Queen of the deepest waters, the Queen of the brightest sparkles, the giver of wealth and power. May your domineering charm and power always abide with us. Let the presentations begin, sisters. She was abandoned by the roadside and was picked up by Madame Selina. Twins, bought by Madame Selina from their wretched mother, who obviously needed the money more than she. Good work, Princess Olivia. Oh, I am proud of you. Keep up with the good work. Thank you. Oh, I can feel your joy. My lady, joy is an understatement to how my soul feels right now. Ever since you captured the soul of Ahana in the telepathic initiation to the deep secret, my mission has been so smooth. The king now gives without any distraction. 
gifts, my lady. It's what he gave to the orphanage for this month. Good one, Pierre. Oh, I am so happy to return on the events. I cannot wait for the day you will present me the bigger package. That is the king's will. It will be very soon, my lady. It's on the way. We are the sisterhood of the deepest seas, the controllers of the nation's wealth. We shall continue to suck the wealth of the nations through our various established channels until everything is turned to us. The wealth of the world is ours. We are the world, and we must multiply. I wish I could. But it keeps coming to me. Reverend, you're a man of vision. You see a lot of visions. And I take my vision seriously. You know that already. So, what do you intend doing? Set out in search of this unknown man? I'm confused. I see two personalities in this man. An army officer and a king. And as we speak, he has been cajoled into paying a check for 10 million naira to an evil coven of demonic and greedy women. And they have been making him pay this every other month. <laughs> How do I locate and help him? I, I, I think you're doing that already by praying for him. You're doing that already. Yes. I just wish the good Lord will open my eyes more to what I'm required to do. The army. Some of them could be so mean and heartless. How we do with God's help. Reverend, don't worry. I'm with you on this. Okay? Thank you. Yes. All we have to do is to keep praying for them and for our country, Nigeria. Okay? Thank you so much, Mother. You're welcome. I appreciate you. You are indeed my pillar of support. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A woman of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Lady Clara, are you confirming to me that you're a sisterhood? It was Theodore Roosevelt that said, and I quote, it is not having been in the dark house, but having left it a cow. Automatically, you are referring to the sisterhood as a dark house. Deep down inside of you, you know that that is what it is exactly. How do you bother to ask yourself what Madame Polo does with the money we gather for her? A medical doctor of your caliber, with all the degrees you've acquired, how come we don't ask questions? Lady Clara. I've had enough. Leave my office. Of course I will leave. But that's right after I've delivered the very message that brought to him first. Yes. What useless message could that be? You know, I came to you because as a medical doctor, you should have some level of intelligence to be able to read me. Right. I want you to talk to Sabina. As far as Lynn is concerned, both of you are one and the same. The only difference is that you have left, but she's still with us. I want her to leave too. 
You see, she's already complaining that Madame Paul does not accord her the respect she's due in your sisterhood. That's why I want her to leave. And I want you to leave too. Leave to where? They are powers. And they are powers. Yes, I know they call me powerful, but not everything. Dr. Selina will come with me. You will discover something different. of traditional rulers in the state. And you will see how I do it. Another beautiful nonsense. That will only give me the opportunity to revisit my dream, which is establishing my own company. Now listen to me. As my only son, I need you to answer me. When will you begin to think straight? Uh, uh, come on, Wag. Is it as serious? I can't remember any power Bullshit. So why is everything change? What a beautiful nonsense. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he's a very special person. I'm meeting him on Sunday. So? Why are you telling me? I want you to come with me. <laughs> this one. Last time I checked, you had no friends aside my brother Ahana. All of a sudden, you have this friend that you need me to join you to visit. Ah, um, well, it's me there. So that is a very beautiful person. Moreover, I thought it's high time you met the special people in my life. Or... Don't you trust me? Try to entice me. You know how I love to rest on Sundays. Maybe, Mister. I know Sundays are equally very hectic for me. I just want you to come, please. Mister, who is this friend of yours? This friend that makes you want to discomfort me so badly just so you can please him. Please, don't start now. It's not fair. Please. Don't make me feel bad. 
All right. I will meet with him. But I'm not out. Whatever, anything, anytime. <laughs> losing my glory. I still deserve little respect in you. I hate to hear you say so much about yourself. I'm so sorry for being your waiter. Please, sister. Why am I here? You can have anything. It's on me. The bill is on me. I wasn't hoping to come here and get drunk. I mean, there are so many things going wrong now. And I'm hoping to start tackling them my own way. I'm certain you already know about it. So, that is why you shadow this meeting. Let's get down to it. Because I could tell is in the least of my worries. We are now one. And you know that. You and I. I take your children as mine. What have I not done for that traveler who calls himself my son? What do you expect others who look up to us to think? Um, honestly, I don't think it's his fault. No, it's mine. It's my fault. The company is on that going into the country. It's not really his fault. No, like I said, it's my fault then. Listen, some other responsible colleagues of his are still working there. They are making a living and gathering experiences. Honestly, one thing you must understand is that these experiences are what you require if you have to win an election to be the ruler of the Kingdom. Kingdom. That is what I am talking about. But my son is not getting it. You have put on trust in him. You just started doing the way And from the information I gathered, the kinship is traditional. We're not even sure that you did it next to the other I mean, why do you set him up? Make him his own boss. He will still gather the same experiences that you want him to get. That's what I think. A man who cannot work for another can certainly not work for himself. Never. What I'm saying is that he has an option. He should go and get himself another job. Or come back home and work with me. You know the way of the kings. Now listen, Claire. I would not want to be disturbed about this anymore. Please. Come on. 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 Come on.
holding an effective meeting with those people. It is all boiling down to what I said initially. We would have gotten a better offer with another company. Yes. I personally recommended maximum consumption. But it was torn down by the protests. Gentlemen, this is not what we need to be discussing here. We should be discussing how we are going to manage the choice. We have already made it. Because we have already made it. Yes, agree. We have already made a choice. But we can as well remind ourselves of the mistakes we made in the process. Oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Bolt, I am totally disappointed in what you are saying. Is this how you plan to rule Obodoku Kingdom with me? Anyway, we already recommended and decided to use surplus constructions because they are the best. We can already see the progress they are making with the ultra modern town hall. And they are building. Let us arrange a fix a meeting with those people. And I want to be present at that meeting. Is that clear? Well, he has been like that since he got the off. And we are all very worried. Oh my goodness. I was wondering why we have not spoken for a while. I've been calling and he's not taking my calls. Well. That is why I sent for you. I know how much he loves you. And I know that you can help bring him out of this wound. Are you sure it's the right thing to do? Because he has not told me about having any problems. But I told you, didn't I? And sincerely, that should be good enough. Do you even have to think about this? I thought you loved my brother. Yes, of course, my princess. I love Anna very, very much. But, okay, fine. I will talk to him about it. Good. I say this one. Okay, you want? What is the meaning of this? Huh? Are you under the illusion that you are now a cardinal part of my life that you can barge into me 
any time without my consent. Are you sick? What's the meaning of this? What's wrong with you? This is Njideka, your girl. Oh, this is Njideka, my girl. Does that give you a free visa to my privacy without my consent? Why would you burden me like this? You know what? Undress yourself from hair to toe and lie down here. What? I should do what? Are you deaf? I said, undress yourself and lie down here. Do it your own way because if I do it my own way, you won't like it. I'm not serious. I'm not serious. Bad idea. But we try our best. Trying and failing is not in my diary at all. If we had gone my way, it wouldn't have been like this. I don't think there's any problem. He has decided to use surplus construction company. All we need now is to work with what is available. Wait, wait. Even a book, did you say surplus? Yes. Construction company. To work with surplus? Ah. I thought we have tried openly to snatch the contract away from them. Huh? Then, what do you suggest? That we lay back for a while? The king is still here. We have enough time with him. So if I'm to suggest, I would say we should go back and replan. Let us plan some better ways of getting what we want from him. That is my suggestion. But if it is as for the building contract, we might have lost it forever. <laughs> Laying back and planning well is not a bad idea. Then let's go that way, if it's okay by you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I appreciate your comments. I never knew you were this generous. Oh, come on, Claire. Don't flatter me. I am amazed. Oh. Those are our investment. How should they be back? Of course. The show you put up today was so nice. Mm. And by evening, the news will be everywhere, on every national paper, and on the TV. <laughs> and the news will go to us. The children of Quell Orphanage Home had their Christmas in September, mm -hmm. as Madam Selina Ibe, mm -hmm. the CEO of BP Resources, paid them a generous visit. Yes, <laughs> and the news will continue mm -hmm. that the director of the orphanage, Lady Claire, was personally present to receive this gorgeous, prestigious visitor. That's how we <laughs> fly, girl. Helping each other to be known. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet dear. I am so amazed. It is true I have not been particularly close to you. But from what you have done, I can say that you have a wonderful heart. Mention it, my dear. <laughs> Sisters are supposed to be close. Mm -hmm. It is never too late to start. So tell me, what do you say to dinner tomorrow? Because I'll be hosting some dignitaries at my house. And you are invited. <laughs> That's okay, I'm a mess. Oh, great! Thank you. Give me a hug. Mm. Okay then. Okay. See, See you later. around. Yeah. Take care Cheers. of you. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye. Mm. 
and one down. See you around, Claire. Deep secrets, very deep, very deep secrets. If any let me get a tune the madola, if it do me me get a tune the madola. Deep secrets. The event was so big. And it was covered by surplus television. Wow. You mean surplus television covered the event? Mm. You don't know what you missed. Oh. <laughs> so who is this woman? This woman is a god sent to the orphanage. And she said she wants to be the major benefactor. Excuse me. I am the major benefactor of this orphanage. <laughs> and I don't even get that kind of publicity. She beats you to eat. <laughs> She's contesting for a federal post. And she needs all the publicity she can get. Oh, nonsense. For crying out loud, you know I'm a retired military officer. Mm -hmm. And I don't like these politicians and their antics. Mm -hmm. Go and tell the woman that she cannot use my orphanage for that. Okay? <laughs> I remain the sole benefactor of that. He's just where I want him. Sense of excitement all the way from my room. What's happening? I was just telling your father about uh, Mother Selena's visit to the orphanage. Mother Selena? Was at the orphanage? Mm -hmm. Now what? Of course. It was not planned. She called to know if I was in the office. Three hours later, I saw her walking with the press and several gifts items. She's not there. I don't think so. You, of all people, should know that she's only putting up a show. A show for the public. It's not what you think. We sisters put up this humanitarian show to impress the public. We cover our shady deals with shows. She is coming. And there is something about her that I don't quite understand. Princess, we need all the help we can get to help us achieve this mission faster. And she promised to give you this help. We can use her. What she did in the orphanage is a starting point. At least now that your father knows that someone else is interested in the affairs of the orphanage, what do you think you would do? Exactly. You know that your father hates competition. I can feel that he's already uncomfortable. That a woman, not even a man, wants to be the sole benefactor. He's working for our own good. Luck is on our side. It will help us achieve this mission faster. Trust me. I hope things work out. I'm on top of it. It will. This is the height of it. And nobody should turn it to come down. We should be glad. Did you just say that? Did you get a cab? 
What will happen to him today? Oh, then we should not pretend that like everything is all right. And then we should be glad about it. That brute almost raped that girl in, that, in this house. The same house you call the palace of Obuduku Kingdom. The Prime Minister and Benny Council with them. They were there! They were there! Hey! And have the gods to come in here and show your face. Do you know? Shut up! When the general is not here, you keep quiet. Do you know what would have happened to you if that girl went to the police? Do you know what you would have cost me? The kingship! Why are you trying to make a case when there is no one? Oh, really? Yes. Come on. The girl in question is my girl. So why would anyone say I wanted to rape her? Why? You are a disappointment. A big disgrace, that's what you are. Say old story. Say something. Come on, Dad. I came to you one week ago and asked for little money just to establish myself. What did you say? You called me all sort of names. Foolish man, inexperienced, blah, 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 blah. Ah, man. What are you trying to say? Was that the reason why you molested an innocent girl? Are you supposed to be talking? You self-centered woman. Ah, man. All you do is suck him dry. You keep collecting from him, collecting from him, collecting from him. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you advised him to give me little money so I can establish myself? When? Listen, you're not supposed to talk. Men are talking. Oh, shut up. You're in disappointment. Get out of my face. Don't bring out the best in me. Get out! Beautiful nonsense. Beautiful nonsense. Brothers. Princess Oledo, why are you not concerned? Am I supposed to be concerned? I mean, your friend is mad, so? My friend, who is also your man, Desmond. You guys have been together for some time now, remember? What? Who is Desmond? Princess Oledo, if you're trying to joke, this joke is expensive. Your man, Desmond, is mad. He's roaming about the street. Do you know what it even means for someone to be mad like crazy? Of course I know what it means, dumbhead. But if you had to tell me I was dating a madman over and over again, then I think your sanity is questionable right now. Beautiful nonsense. Don't tell me nothing because you know nothing. Don't you think I did not deserve that from you? And you cannot blame your actions on anybody. Oh yeah? Princess Olin, look into my eyes and tell me what you see. I'm confused and frustrated. The same man I called my dad abandoned me. This same man is throwing money round town. He's trying to develop this town, town that has been handed into his hands. No. He feels more comfortable spending money on other people's children than his own. I know that he has refused to establish that business for you doesn't mean that he doesn't care. I told you I want to help, didn't I? What you did was wrong. Blame it on that. I'm confused and frustrated. Let me see how stupid you sound right now. Your dad is not taking this lightly at all. And I fear for what he might do. What was his condition when you met him? Exactly how it is now. He just had to bring him here. They called me at around 4 p.m. and he was coming to church to see me. Jesus. Libos on trabalhe care de vos, on trabalhe care vos. Libos on trabalhe care de vos. Requeze care vos. Libos on trabalhe care de vos, on trabalhe. 
you thought I would be chasing my husband? You know you don't belong to this body. Why are you on my Speak now! His body is the temple of light. And you darkness has no place in it. You know the light and darkness has not in your Speak now! It's life! It's life! Yet, it went to the vessel of darkness! The light obstructs in the walks of darkness! How will you see him as a tool? Never! Yes! I said never! How will you see him as a tool who has walk? As long as I want. Never! Shut up! How dare you speak when the son of the Lord speaks? Remotion that I am Kenosha! You are too small! I said, shut up! You are too small! You went back on the river section for him. Remotion that I am for others. Remotion that I am for others. When two powers collide, the lesser power will subdue. The lesser power will bow. Come on, 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 you don't send me on such a run. Take a chill pill. Don't forget I'm an elder group. Ah, uh, no, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. My elder brother, my elder brother, help me, please. Listen, you should come and do it yourself. You're already at home. And I can't move away when you can easily help. You're only my elder for a few minutes. Listen, I, I think someone is about to take me in this position here. Yeah. I saw that with another woman this evening. Yeah, I know, I know why I'm telling you this. My instincts does not lie. I believe the queen is about to lose that to another woman. Your Highness, I shall be on my way. Oh, okay. Well, trust me to get back to you as soon as I make a decision on your proposal. Okay, I'll be looking forward to that. But remember, it promises to benefit both parties. Oh, sure, sure. May I request your eyes that uh, we should keep this new development between us a secret. Really? <laughs> the Madame Selina that I know loves publicity. So why this contradiction? Not in this case. If you please, at the right time. Okay, I'll get back to you, Madame Selina. Thank you, Your Highness and my general. <laughs> Father. And when I suspected she must be the one, I quickly rushed home and I saw her when she was mostly. And who was that? Selena! Selena, what? Selena was with Dad! What? You didn't know about it. Oh, God. I can't tell. I had my suspicions. What do you call it? 
Introduced her to you. And you decided to have a meeting with her without even telling me. Uh, uh, um, what is this privacy you're talking about? Basically, I am at liberty to make decisions in my house about my own affairs. I don't want to believe that you're taking my own personal property. How? I didn't get you. I chose you to be with me in this house because of the majority of the you were exhibited when my wife was alive. You made me regret that decision. Why do you cry? You're supposed to be a very strong woman. I saw that trait in you before I handed the very massive mission to you. My lady, a sister is not supposed to betray a sister. She did something to him. The general I'm living with now is not the same general we all knew. Selena, but you are strong. However, you are my dear. And I will not let anyone make you suffer. Yes, Madam Selina, I was able to take a quick decision. That kind of proposal is not the time to be turned down. Exactly. So, tell me, how do you plan it? Simple, Your Highness. I will come in and take over. I have all it takes to help you get all the financial benefits such organizations get from foreign governments. Come on, my king. Don't talk like that. Even nations need donuts. As we speak, I've already made contact with some foreign bodies. They love the prospect and are waiting for our decisions to print them in. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. 
I will keep mentioning it. But remember that I have to take over. I can't be effective when another is at the top. So, you will have to explain that to your woman. Alright. Well, Lily, can you see that? She's with him now. She's advancing. Her intention may be good. She might make more money for the orphanage through her foreign benefactors. No. My lady, you can't do this to me. This mission is my life. It's my life. It has always been all about the danger. I stand with the one that brings me more money. I will do anything. My lady, I'll work harder. I will do anything. I want more money, certainly, but not from Selena. She is trying to impress me, but not when she stands on the way of the one that pleases my heart. Selena will have to find another way to impress me. Now go back to your mansion and complete your mission. Be different ladies to that man. Reinvent your old self. You can do it. You can get him back. It all depends on you. Go. What? What can you put out of way? Tell the devil it off. You woman, you need to be reminded that you don't raise your voice at me when you speak to me. I am not only a king, I am a general. Apologies, my general and my king. But. If this is how you turn around, then it means an end for the connections that would fetch you beyond. Oh, nothing. I was just ending a meeting with Madame Selina. Right, Madame Selina? You need to think about this critically. Think about what you stand to gain or lose as the case may be. Woman, you will find your way out of this place now. Let me give you an information. Let that deal end before it even starts. Your Highness, billions of Naira. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you want it to go down the drain. Billions of Naira. No. My father will do no stuff. Dad, what is she talking about? No, it is not. Well then, the king says, leave. Would you need help to do that? Come on, chicken. Don't let me. Did you hear the amount of information she mentioned? Oh, as far as I know, she's a fraudster. <laughs> and I'm going to put a call to the IG for the police to take her away. Apologies. My lady, I have not been given real tasks like the others. I 
have not been given opportunity to show what I can do. You are weak, Selena. You cannot have been told this. Well, you failed at the meeting I tested you. If anything, you should be grateful that I make you wish for what I'm saying. Give me another chance, my lady. Another chance at real missions. Not until I am done testing your capabilities. But until then, do not try to cause this in any of my missions again. Not the way you try to tread. I may not be this merciful next time. Selena. Yeah, what do you mean by evil seed? Are you trying to make me believe that you're not as intelligent as I always thought you are? Clara, I don't intend to join issues with you. Selena has refused to pick my calls. And you claim not to know why. Why are you supporting Madame Paul in taking my sister for a ride? You know she has paid her dues in that system. And she deserves more than she's getting. I should not be telling you. I've always thought that her time will come. Please advise your sister to lay back. Let her try and do something possible to win back Boa's trust. And if she fails, the mother of Boa will kill her. Not minding the fact that she has made so much sacrifice for the sisterhood. You can never tell what will happen. Madame Paul is a spirit being. And you cannot predict what will happen. Advise your sister to be very careful. Now I'm going to tell you this. There are powers deposited in you that you have not explored. That's why Mother Woman is taking on your advantage of you. Wake up! Open your eyes! Listening to me? Yes, sir. But honestly, I don't understand. The last thing I remember was calling to tell you I was coming with my fiancee on a respectful Sunday. Please tell me what really happened. <coughs> a lot. This month, a lot happened, and um, we will not discuss all that today, okay? But you must stay away from your fiance. Did you hear me? Stay away from from my fiance. Yes. Why? <laughs> you see. I was not mistaken when I asked to see her. This month, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, Be ye not unequally yoked with the unbelievers. You see, I always advise believers in the church to date and marry believers. You are a dedicated member in this church. How did you allow this to happen to you? Robin, you're not telling me anything. Talk to me now. What happened? I don't understand you. She belongs to a deadly secret society. She is greatly possessed by an evil spirit. What? Oh my god. <sighs> Your presence in her life was messing things up for them. Yes. Hey. 
Okay. That's why they tried to stop you in their own way. Oh, no, please, you please. please. <laughs> Tell me, am I okay? Eh, please. Do it for me now. Am I okay? Eh? It's okay. Everything. Am I okay? To the glory of the Lord, you are. Amen. Amen. Pray for me. But now. you must stay away from her for now. Did you hear me? Yes. Yes. It's yes. well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray to you, nothing will happen to you. Amen. Amen. Be talking about your family and not my kindness towards Ahana. You and I know that Ahana is practically part of the mission. How is my father the problem? Oh, you know, your father today is the king, tomorrow is a soldier, and when he's not happy, his mood doesn't help us. Was at all. And we have Aham to thank for it. Well, um, it was worse when Ahana was trying to discourage the king from funding the orphanage. Now we have to deal with this mood. It's easy. I fear. I fear so much. Our lady warned that there were obstacles. First we have the praying man, and then the people of Obuduku are fast closing in on the king. What else is on the plate? What else are we up against? We don't even know, and soon the king might get weary of all this. Come on, princess or lady. Stop being fearful and naive. We can pull through this. Trust me, we can't. The hidden truth is here. Everything has crumbled. What shall we do? What shall we say? Where shall we go? How I feel about my orders being flouted. I'm sorry. That boy could have raped that girl in the palace. All you could do was to give him your old card keys, even when I had confiscated it. That boy is your son, Your Highness. Your only son. And enough! about all later. They are twins, remember? Doesn't she behave well? Your Highness, they are your children. You shouldn't allow it to get to you the way it's going right now. Please. I need to see Dr. Austin. Dr. Austin? Are you feeling fine? Is your baby rising? Maybe a DNA test will have solved some of them. Deep secrets. Very deep, very deep secrets. 
My lady, you cannot be reluctant about this. You have to stop him. The king can go on his plans. My lady, we don't need this right now. The king will be distracted. And how does that stop us? You are not really bothered. I do not waste my time and power on matters that are not important. If the king wishes to get a Denny test because Ahana misbehaved, then let him do so. My only interest is that at the end of the day, I get him to sign his will to my orphanage. Uh, but my lady... Stop, Claire. Go back to your work. And quit running to me all the time. I have given you all the powers you need. Go. Miss her right now. I wish you could come back here. I wish I could resurrect her. Everything is. I understand exactly how you feel. I want her to come back here alive so that I can kill her myself. I want to end that whole slide with my own hands. She imposed those bastards on me. It was a fool, Claire. I was a fool for more than two decades. I could see this going to be all right. Not like this. Not like this. I have no child. Do you even understand that? My people trusted in me. They still trust me. And that's why they elected me the first king of Okudokuna. But look at me. So, I want her alive so that I can ask her why she made me father to another man's children. Then I'll send her back to hell. No child, what she did is a crime in common law. And a huge abomination in the law of traditional laws of people land in Nigeria. It's okay. I'm a child. Onyoma, 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 Ezu Gobusuwebu Onyoma. Onyoma, 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 ezu gobusu wepu onyoma Repu betu kuzi fadima Nino le menu hankitio Repu betu kuzi fadima Nino le menu hankitio Onyoma, 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 ezu gobusu wepu onyoma Onyoma, 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 ezu gobusu wepu onyoma Rebu wetu kuzi fadima Nino le menu hankitio Rebu wetu kuzi fadima Nino le menu hankitio Say it now, say it there The kingdom is in safe hands Demons are ganging up for nothing because I'm I made it clear that I do not wish to see you ever again. Well, get your miserable self out of this house. Get out! Don't you ever call me that again. I do not want to repeat myself. Get out of my house. I hate you! I hate your mother! I hate everything about you! Get out of my house! Bloody Zinnia! Get out! 
It's all good, but trust me, I love you, son. And as long as I live, you are my one and only guy. It's not a beautiful answer. children. Looking at them reminds me of how I was fooled by their wayward mother. The very same woman you've always praised. What? She's not here to defend herself. No one knows what happened. And remember, is it only an abomination to speak ill of a man? Don't tell me about abominations, man. For you know nothing about that subject. You are not competent enough to speak on all that, that all important subject. I want those bastards out of my house and out of my life. I want to plan my life afresh. And where do you want I them? want to make my own family. And where do you want them to go? You are everything that they have. Remember those children are victims. Just the way you are. And I won't sit here and watch you frustrated. I won't let you. How could mom do this to us? How could she? She must have had her reasons. What sort of stupid reasons? She was just irresponsible. Hey! Respect the dead. She's not here to speak for herself. Princess Oledo. Oledo, because you're no longer a princess. You don't get it. We are messed up. He doesn't want to see us. He doesn't want to listen to me. He doesn't even want to. The mere sight of me irritates that as we speak. Okay. Quit calling him that. At least for now. You can address him with the titles his people refer to him as the king, his majesty. At least for now, seeing that that is no longer befitting. Don't tell me, do you have an idea of what would happen when the people of Ogoduku finally come to realize that we are not his biological children? Do you? I understand your voice. Well, Claire has assured me that everything is under control. Claire? I know Claire is a control freak, but tell me, can she make us his biological children? <laughs> can you just stop smiling already? Your teeth is wanted, I don't wish to see now. Stop! Ah, um, I just... Calm down. Let's do this. As broken as you are, you know. Obviously, Dad, you can see. We are down as you are. Don't mock me any longer by calling me father. Because I am not. On, Don't! Come on, Dad. Did you hear? I thought you would talk from this already. You cannot continue treating these innocent children before. Like I said, I don't want any of this right now. The main criteria that qualifies a man 
to be voted in as king is that a man must have at least one child. I was deemed qualified because I had this one. I even named him Ahana. Oh, this is too hard for me. Where is the officer in you? These children they are the reason why you were voted as king. They are your children. They are here. They have nowhere else to go. Have you bothered to ask yourself what will happen if this scandal breaks in the kingdom? How is it going to break? I trust Dr. Austin. And I know that you trust him more than I do. Dr. Austin cannot allow a test that was conducted in this hospital to break out as public news. Do you know what? I want to be left alone right now. Come on, Dad. Do you know how it feels for us to be fatherless in our own father's house? <laughs> you will not remember your name. If I take another step towards you, will you leave my presence? Leave now. Did I say anything wrong? Leave. Leave. They have been the only children in the barrack. No other anywhere else. Why do you sound this way? Do not answer questions with questions. I do not understand why you are suddenly treating me like a stranger. This is our fault, both of us. I never knew you this foolish. How could you get yourself pregnant? Are you that loose? Come on, Alvarezama. It is I, Esther. Have you forgotten? This is not what you promised me, Esther. I can't remember promising to be with any stupid and useless woman who could not hold herself. Listen, I won't be part of this. I am carrying your baby, so you cannot separate yourself from me. You are challenging an officer. Listen and listen very good. If you are not getting rid of this thing you are carrying, and come and enjoy life with me, then you get lost. The choice is yours. Actually, there is. Oh, there should be. Yes. I took advantage of my position and ensured that she never came close to the barracks ever again. You mean you got a woman pregnant in the past? She told me so. And you believed her? What proof does she have? Were you even listening to me at all? I said I am sure that she's laid away from the barracks, never to show face there ever again. Of what relevance is that to what we're discussing right now? For all I, I, I care, that pregnancy could have been for her, any other man. She was not a wayward person. If she said the baby was mine, then it was. And what do you mean by that? With her lies the only chance. I have a being a father. I will do all it takes to see that happen. That is not my problem. What if he finds this woman eventually? It is still not my problem. I'm searching for my own route. I understand how you've been feeling, Levy. No, you do not understand how I feel. You have something to show for it. Money. Oh yes, money. And look at me. I am fatherless and hopeless at the same time. Ah, now we can work this out. Together we can. But I'm not feeling good the way he's searching for this woman. I'm not feeling good. Don't add salt to my injury. I will not remember you. Excuse me.
As close as Claire was to her, she should have better answers to every question concerning Christine. Unfortunately, she does not. That means she's unwilling to talk to me about it. Please, ma. I beg you with whatever you believe in. I need you to tell me the truth. Who is my biological father? And why did mom do this to me? And unfortunately, I cannot answer that question. It is beyond me. Why am I finding it difficult to believe you? My spirit keeps telling me you have something to say. I am certain you will know what you're supposed to know at the right time. Right? It freaks me out. My lady, I need your help. I knew he would get worried about not having a son. What? Does that mean he knew he's not a biological man? There are lots of secrets that are buried under the very foundation of the sisterhood. We call them deep secrets. My lady, what if he finds this woman and she happens to have a child for him? You know we did not envisage him having a child that will contest the will with us. Fear not, Claire. For the king and all that he has belong to me. Time, only time will prove it. You shouldn't bother yourself about anything. Really? I don't think so. See this? This has to do with me and my identity, so do not even tell me that. Have you always known that the king was not our biological father? <laughs> I have served with all my might and so I deserve to know everything. At least those things that concern me. Mother Paul, why did you keep this away from me? Mother Paul told you that there are secrets hidden within the sisterhood and it must remain deep secrets. And as a member of this sisterhood, as someone who has given everything she's got to this sisterhood, doesn't that give me the right? To these deep secrets. Don't get yourself locked up, princess. Why do you keep calling me princess, by the way? I mean, am I still am I still a princess? Am I still a princess when the king who made me princess has disowned me? Once a princess is always a princess, come on. It's okay. It's okay, man. You have been in this service all your life. What are you saying? Your Majesty, I have no problem investigating on the whereabouts of a woman. But you know nothing about this woman, only by her name. That's too much information for a professional man like you to work on. If I had more information than that, then I wouldn't need your services. I guess you're right, sir. Listen, all I want is a warehouse. Get me information on that as soon as possible. Be rest assured that I will work very hard on this and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I'll get back to you. Family 
tiene chun de madruga. Very deep, very deep secrets. If family let me, get a chunk of madura. If family let me, get a chunk of madura. Invited for fear of all people. What? This has to do with the young woman he said had a child for him when he was a young officer. Then I'm going to ask you if you're thinking that you'll go looking for her. Is that what you're thinking? He told me that specific time. You know, for him to invite Kofi, honestly, it simply shows that he's starting to do that. Well, I don't see how that's a problem to us. I don't see it. I feel, I feel worthless. I feel hopeless in that house. Have you experienced something like this before? Not really, really. I've not. But I can tell how you feel. My twin sister is involved in this. But she's not worried. Because she's a woman. Someday she will get married and leave. But I'm a man. I need to know my roots. And somehow, I knew that a day like this would come. Yes. Let me tell you. I need you to come closer to me if you wish to gain more knowledge. Sorry? Yes. I should come closer to you. Yes. Nini, I don't understand. My problem is what will become of us. If he comes back, he will return. Never see us the sun. Come on, Claire. You sound naive right now. I sound naive. Are you being naive? Can you understand what will happen to us if he finds out? Do you understand that he will will everything we want to his son? Okay. Let's take a moment and explore all the possibilities. How do you know that the woman in question is still alive? That's one. Two, how are we to believe that there is a woman at all? But he doesn't still have to anymore. He doesn't pay attention to anything else. Since that fateful day that he mentioned that. He doesn't. Okay. Shouldn't we go to Madame Paul with this new development? Please. Madame Paul won't be able to come to her in such issues. All that women want to hear is that the king has signed the deal. I don't understand why I should be the one in control. Your brother was here too. And I could not tell him what he wished to hear. Leave Anna out of it. He knows nothing about the system. I am here as a sister. Tell me what I need to know. Where is Claire? She should be the right person to tell you everything because she took over from your mother. Well, well she insists that my paternity and all that concerns it are deep secrets of the sisterhood. Since when did we start keeping secrets from each other? <laughs> Princess Alayda, my dear. You were indeed totally oblivious of what the sisterhood is all about. 
He was just a child that was led on by the wicked and selfish guys. Well, I will give you all the information on you die in the death. But first, you must make a pact. <laughs> I will do anything. Whatever it is. It brings to exist with our foundation. I want to know myself. I want to know where I belong. I want to know what the future holds for me. Mi family mi gane chunde madola. Mi fedi o mi mi gane chunde madola. Deep secret. If I me, can I turn the Madonna? Thank you, Mom. Visions and the sisterhood is different. Some sisters are required to live with the support of the fact, just like what players do right now. But the rule states that the sister will never get pregnant by the benefactor. When they can get married, but she will never be his child. <laughs> Who makes that kind of rule? And how is that possible? Ah, but actually, the reason is that the sisterhood will not want to compete over the wealth of the benefactor. Wait a minute. This means that the sisterhood is all about hijacking people's wealth. In the case of your mother, when she married the general Amalia Zama, as he was pursuing her for a child, she had to get pregnant by another man in order to calm him down. Wait a minute. So, this is all a plan? Everyone knows? Everyone knows, except the king. But along the line, the mother made a terrible mistake by getting pregnant by the same general. My lady, she does not look like she will survive this. She should have known. How could she go against? My lady, what did she do? That seed inside the house was planted by an Indian. That is gross. How did she do it like that? The question is, how do I get that package managed now that she has left after the My lady, she is my friend. I can stand in for her. Do I stand the chance now? We lost her, but the show must go on. My lady, I understand that Albaleza Amar is quite free now. Due to Christine's death, I think it's the right time to send another agent. I have already made plans for that. You have? That is why we are having this meeting. Claire has been appointed to complete the tax with Albaleza. Lady. That's not how missions are assigned here. Besides, Claire is an amateur. She can't take an important mission here while I'm here. It's against the rule. Oh, yes. I remember the rule. All the sisters get better chances first. I cannot be in the field while here. This is a new factor. I make you. So I can then. Claire has been chosen for that task. And so shall it be. And that is my dear. What? That might be why he should. 
that we can assist that much more. Thank you. What point are you trying to make, Dr. Lee? And what has this got to do with my quest? You may think you put a team. No, she's only out for her own personal gains. How? She has never in any way suggested that her actions are coming rich. Now tell me, how many landed properties has a money to you have? And how many does Claire have? And you totally dependent on her. Have you asked yourself? If you don't do anything about this now, that is how it will always be. No, 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 Dr. Lee, you are getting me upset and confused. I mean, now you know that you don't belong with the Holy Spirit. Have you asked yourself what will become of you when this whole mission is ended? You just think. Selena, just a few messenger. Why Claire enjoys all her beauty and looks to herself? Um, Kofi, I've heard all you already said, but I need you to try another. And that time is what I do not have, Kofi. Do I need to tell you? the purpose for this investigation before you get it done. Do I? <sighs> Listen, Kofi, you have all my numbers. Call me at any time. I need good news. Eh? Good news. <sighs> Is anything the matter? Why are you looking at me that way? I've been watching you for Everything all right? Well, there's nothing you can worry about. We all know what coffee does. Have you left our Why are you sounding that way, Claire? I already told you about coffee. I hired him to look for her for me. Yes, Esther. Oh, come on, Claire. You of all people should be supporting of me now. Come on. This is another chance for me to get my own child. You hired to dress a woman you abandoned several years ago just because you heard that she was pregnant. Oh, come on. This sounds ridiculous. Yes, I know. It's ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. But this is the only thing that my heart can conceive at this moment of confusion. Well, at least he has not started thinking of making a child with me. Fair enough, for it will never happen. Hmm. Good job, Alfie. Good job. King wasn't expecting something different from me, was he? No, oh, certainly not. Thank you, My pleasure, sir. The woman lives in that address, and I confirm she is a responsible, well made woman. You don't know how happy I am today. It's my pleasure, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're right. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. I can't believe I'm finally here with you. I'm glad to have you, sir. Welcome. Honestly, you are one of my most cherished preachers on television. I do not always fail to listen to your Dying with the Love program or Showcase channel. 
very refreshing. <laughs> well, uh, I'm delighted to hear this. Uh, yeah. God bless you. You're welcome. You're here to, to see my Esther, I guess? Um, yes. I hope everything's alright. Oh, there's no problem at all. Um, does she actually live here? Yes. My Esther's living here. Well, it depends on if we're talking about the same person. No. <laughs> really? Yes. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Be right back. Where did you come from? And, and, and what are you doing here? Is it the same person that is looking for me? Yes. Well, um, since both of you know each other, let me excuse myself. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me. You're welcome. Aruba Ama. As we could be seen. So, what's this with your dressing? <laughs> what are you now a king? for your life. There is nothing like salvation. Absolutely nothing. And I forgave you a long time ago. Yes, I've always prayed for you. So if that's why you came, forget about it. We are friends now. Yes, we are united in the revealed truth of the word and in communion with God. Okay? I came to you to make me 
it right again. You cannot be opportunity. Please don't dismiss me. Just say that. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, I know. It was hard for me to believe too the first time. That same man of God that I hold in high esteem. That same man of God that is preaching God to me. That same man that I have always donated secretly to his ministry. It's my son. He did. Blood is thicker than water. Oh, stop talking like a bloody civilian. That boy cannot be your son. That okuchiku of a boy can never be your son. <laughs> I know. I know that nobody would ever believe that I, Arubani Zama, little Muzo of the Nubu Kingdom, would ever father in such a powerful and spiritual child like a little Muzo. But be that as it may, whatever people think does not matter anymore. For Reverend Okuchiku, is indeed my son. <laughs> what? How did I not see this God? He is not supposed to be involved with this boy. Not in this way. We don't want to face him again. We cannot even face him. Papalichi, how does this affect us? Did you just ask that? This man is supposed to give up all he has. And that was why we prevented him from having a son, a real son. Now, he not only does, but the said son is the same enemy that has been trying to destroy us over the years. Can you not see how bad this is getting? So, my lady, what do we do? It is simple. The king must not be reconciled with that book. It will destroy our mission. That boy. That boy is too powerful. I cannot even face him. Claire. Yes, my lady. We must focus on the things you can control. And that is the key. You must put a stronger hold on him and get him to do all that we need him to do and then let him go. We have got a little time here. This is the time to strike. This is the time to strike! Yes, my lady. We are not just Christians. We are practicing Christians. The Bible said in Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 that we should be up with one another. If anyone has grievance against someone, forgiveness is one of our core values. Son, I have forgiven him. Even before he came here, I told you about him. I did not have heard nothing against him. You told me about my father leaving you with pregnancy. But you never told me that he's an army officer or a king. That was because that information was not important at that time. Moreover, he became a king after he left the army. Does that not explain the constant disturbing visions I've been having about an army officer, Kum King? And precisely, he's the same as the one I see in those visions. Yes. Reason I did not hesitate to bring him in when he came. And now this same man turns out to be my father. So, we've been fine without this man. We don't need anything from him. Or we don't need him for anything. That is what we may say as humans. But the good Lord knows why he came looking for us after all these years. And we must hearken to his voice. Are you out of your mind? How can you start just sitting like this? Well, it seems like the only solution right now. How else do you plan on stopping the king from bringing in the reverend? 
How does uh, telling Anna everything about the sister I'm going to help us? He doesn't have to know. He can't do anything. Trust me on this, Claire. Have I ever failed? Honestly, I don't know your plans. How will Madame Paul have done this? Madame Paul has told you to do whatever it takes, whatever in your power you can do to make sure you accomplish the mission. She doesn't care how you do it. She cares that you get it done. And so, let us do this. I have tried talking to her hand now once. Honestly, I, I just can't trust him. Hannah is a fool. And he can't help us in any way. Well, the Ahana you used to know is not the Ahana that is existing right now. Yeah. Ever since he learned that he has no place with the king and he has no place in the Oboduku kingdom, Ahana has become desperate. And so he would do anything. He would do whatever to secure something or secure a place for himself. Princess, that's what you think. Ahana is up against forces that are higher than him. Honestly speaking, there's nothing he can do. Trust me when I say so. I know you might not believe it, but it's true. You're not making sense to me. What's sisterhood? Sisterhood means everything. They own the orphanage. No, no. The orphanage was owned by mom. We grew up to meet it like that, and that confirmed it. Your mother managed it. Just like Princess Oliver and I are. Your family to be more like this, to be called, So, why have you decided to get me involved? Excuse me, what do you mean by we? Speak for yourself. Ah, now the king could not sponsor the company of your dreams when he believed you were his only son. What makes you think it will happen now that he's barely accommodating you in his house? I don't even know what to say to you. You only do. A cultist. Now this whole thing is beginning to make sense to me. No wonder you keep sneaking around with her every now and then. Ah, now this is our chance. Our chance to get what we deserve. You should work with us. Save your energy because you can't convince me. We two should leave my home. I said leave my room. You just confirmed to me that you're a member of the system. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about getting this back to the world. Sure, I don't know if it's a problem. Oh my God. Let her eat. I can't believe I'm involved in all this. Oledo, why did you drag me down here? See this? This is about us not being left out. Claire and Madame Paul have secret plans of hijacking everything and leaving us with nothing. We don't want that to happen now, do we? The last time I checked, 
you and Claire asked me to work for you. What is happening? You have been officially introduced to the sisterhood. And your mission made known. But your loyalty remains with us. The Pauline and myself. When the king is under the you are in the sky. don't be a fool forever. Say something. I'm processing all up here. Don't expect me to talk without that permission. Men are claiming power. Men are claiming authority, but in secret, it's women that rule the world. The word of power, the word of power, the ocean beneath, from where power rules the world. Oh, sorry, I got an invitation from Reverend Okuchukua and his mother. What? Well, they invited me for a chat, and uh, I think I see light. Wish me luck. I wouldn't be in a hurry to kiss you goodbye, because we still have quite a lot to resolve. How could you dress to attend such an important invitation without even mentioning that to me? Excuse me. You heard me. First, you must remember that I am general. Was a general, always a general. Now, there is a paramount ruler. I was never, I will never be that type of man that you seek a problem. Let alone a woman for doing what he has decided to do. Stay at it, my man. To make it worse, he refused to use a driver. He's driving himself. What? And you let him? Why? Ahana, can you stop thinking about yourself for once? This is serious. Can you not be? I mean, can you try to be sensitive to the situation at hand? Ah, and I know you're trying to understand this whole thing. But this is crystal clear, even to the blind. We don't have time. Time is not on our side. We need to do everything possible to stop him. We need to stop him. What? Now you want us to do the things that my friends like to walk out.
What's with that look? Is it going to be alright? Right now you don't sound like it. Hope you survive it. But next time, find a way of controlling your life. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. Some truths are better not said. Some truths are better not said. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. Some truths are better not said. The hidden truth is here. Everything has wrong. What shall we do? What shall How long will I put up? Patience. I'm trying so hard. Well, he has been like this for days now. We need help. If he must not come in contact with Oku Chukwu while we carry out our plans, then we need help. If he must not, we can't allow him to see Oku Chukwu. Oku is not someone you and I are ready to deal with right now. Don't you think so? Now that he's unconscious, let us go with a better plan. Be fast too. Come on, mother. If you've forgiven him, you should not say that. What do you want me to say? I mean, this man has the opportunity to make things right and he fails to show up. What's my business in that? That man, the man I saw, looked troubled. Oh, obviously. Since he has all the wealth and no son to take over from him as a king, shouldn't he be troubled? Eh? Well, mother, I'm not talking about the worries of this life. He is in a spiritual bondage and he needs God's intervention. Spiritual bondage? Why do you feel that way? I don't just feel that way. I know he's in bondage. And as family, we need to keep praying for him. Uh uh, uh uh. So don't go there. Don't. Listen, that man may be everything. It's obviously not family. He is not family. Oh, no. 
important to me is to get him where we want him to be. Ah, I forgot to tell you that the Prime Minister has been coming to check up on the king since he got with him. They are worried. Those ones will equally deal with them, but not now. They are out here to to suck the king. And I'm poor, it's right. We have a lot of obstacles. Mm. And so we need to act fast. Very fast. I know. Oledo, you have to fix your eyes on the king while I do what I'm supposed to do. As of the Prime Minister and those men, we have to look for a way to push them far away. Far away. And how do you intend to do that? The man is their king. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That is why I came myself. Listen, woman. The man we are talking about is not just any man. We are talking about the king of Obodoku kingdom. How can you suggest that he's going to stay away from his people? I'm just saying I'm keeping him away. It's just a medical advice. A medical advice? They will ask a king to stay away from his people? Who is the medical doctor that can give that kind of medical counsel? A medical doctor that understands where the king lives. Who? And you. Just Wait a minute. You actually came into my office to ask me to stay away from our king? For oh, now, please. He doesn't need all the worries that you and your people always come to meet him with. I will personally inform you when he is ready to resume his duties as the king. Can you please excuse me? I had always known that this would be the end of something. Now I confirm. What do we call this? I mean, I mean, he 
he's fully recovered from the deadly cough. What is this? Dad. idea you said you have? Drugging him? How is that supposed to help? You wouldn't start talking about drugging him when you regained consciousness. Even like that, drugging him wasn't a better option. Now tell me, how is he supposed to ride you in that state? How? Honestly speaking, confusion is my middle name right now. How did I even get myself involved in this? Even in a confused state, drugging him is a terrible, terrible idea. Even an idiot wouldn't do this. Even an idiot wouldn't do this. Listen, I'm out of this place. Once you guys come up with something better, call me back. It is deep, deeper than the eyes of men. They call it the deep secrets. Ah. Am I the only one that does not understand this? What do you not understand? You are a witness to it yourself. <laughs> Onyoma, 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 ezu kubusu wapi onyoma. Ebu mechu kuzi fadima. Tilo ne meno nakitio. Ebu mechu kuzi fadima. Tilo ne meno nakitio. Say it now, say it clear. The kingdom is in safe hands. The demons are ganging up for nothing. Because a military man is in power. It is era of no nonsense. As you go, was you a go to war? At the salusi, when you go on guard, as you go, was you a no go to war? Say it now, say it now. The kingdom is in safe hands. He must have hanging up for nothing. Because a military man is in power. It is a law of no nonsense. As you go, who's your no go to war? I guess I'll see where you go, but no. I can't even know the men I get to you. Onyoma, onyoma, onyoma. As you go, who's your no go to war? Onyoma, onyoma, onyoma. Ezu kubusu wapi onyoma. Ebu mechu kuzi fadima. Tilo de penu nakitio. Ebu mechu kuzi fadima. Tilo de penu nakitio. 
Listen, officer, we have not come to see that woman that lives in the palace. We don't know her. And we don't even want to know her. We have come to see our king. Look at us. We are the cabinet members of this kingdom. We are in the uniform of the cabinet. Are you claiming you don't know us? My question is, did you book an appointment with, with the king? Eh? Excuse me, officer. Are you saying you don't know us? Or are you telling us to book an appointment before we can see our king? Men are already wearing cabinet uniform. Well, I'm sorry. That has changed. You have to book an appointment before you see the king. So you can go back and come back tomorrow. And since when did that change? Officer, come here. We want to see our king. You see? Listen. Is it going to cost us anything to kill this woman? The metaphysical way. The means is important. It will not cost us anything, at least through metaphysical yes. way. Of course, of course. What, 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 Did I hear you both say yes. deal? We are going to kill that woman and her blood will be on your head. Yes, no! And her and her blood will be upon your head. And we never saw this coming. Exactly my point. We never saw this coming. How can this woman come from nowhere to stop us? How? The bottom line is that he is not even married to her yet. What will happen if she finally becomes the queen? No, that's her dream. To become the queen of Obolubu. But you know we are not going to allow that to happen. We should tread with caution. Oh. We have to tread with caution. Do we really have the powers to stop him from marrying whoever he wants to marry? Yeah, but we have the power, as the kingmakers of Abodufu, to remove any king that is not ruling well. Then that king can go and marry whoever he wants to marry. Did you just say that? You want us to dethrone him? Listen to me, Benibu. We need a king that will be committed to the development of this land. A king that will be working with the people. A king that will be close to the people. Not a king that is a strange woman from nowhere will just hijack. And the person, maybe the time has come for you to show him that relevant section of the constitution of this kingdom that empowers the king makers of Abodufu to remove, in fact, to dethrone any incompetent king. You are right, my prime minister. But we should not refer to Ezu Goguzu as incompetent king. How? How? He, he is actually a competent king. It's just that something is wrong somewhere. He is being manipulated by a strange woman. We all know that. And what we have to do is to rise 
as the naming council and seek to help and protect our king. Protect a king that was being manipulated by a strange woman. And so how can a strange woman manipulate a king and he is still allowed to be king? Deep secrets Very deep very deep secrets. If a milemi kene chunde madola, men are claiming power, men are claiming authority, but in secret, it's women that rule the world. The world of power, the world of power. The ocean beneath, from where for where rules the world. <sighs> he has been like that for days now. You think he was not in here, or was standing on the back of the He was going to be great and going there for more life. So what happened? Was this the rest? Why don't you tell her the truth? Tell her what you did and save our precious life. He was given some tranquilizers. Tranquilizers? What do you mean by that? You guys don't this man at all. So this is the truth. I'll give him some. Get wise. Get wise. I'm sorry. Too angry right now. Why? So sorry. I have to do this. What about going back to Okuchu? Oh. Don't defend your action like that. But, but, but whatever you said now. Don't give me whatever you are giving me. Hey, so don't get me this letter, everybody. I will send you a prescription on the drugs you will use now. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. Some truths are better not said. The hidden truth is here. Everything. Have we met? So it's you. The woman in my dream. So that dream was a vision of what would be. Anyways, it's all good. Nice to meet you in person. Did I put you in that house to eat? Ride choice cars and bring me yes. excuses? Really? Excuse you are not listening to me. No, maybe you were not precise enough. As a member of this sisterhood, I have the right to express how I feel. Good. This is a sign of go ahead. The report is this. The king has refused to discuss anything concerning the will because he is mentally unstable. What do you mean by that? I think it repeats. Immediately he took the pills Lynn prescribed for me. He became normal. Then I stopped and started giving him my reward. Then stop giving him whatever it is you're giving to him. Do you need to be told? A little bit complicated. The moment he stops taking those pills, he starts talking about going to see <sighs> Fat boy. I never thought that I would have to deal with him again. Not in this way. Listen, um, sister, let's call it spade a spade. No matter how we try to confuse or discourage or distract the king from Okucho, he is desperately in need of a male child, a son. That's his priority number one. A son. 
That is exactly what we shall give to him. How is that possible? I am Powell. I make everything possible. I do everything to accomplish my mission. If the only solution to this problem is giving the general a son, then a son he shall be given. But there is an obstacle for me now. I came all the way to see you because I know there is something you can do. I need her out of the way. That woman cannot stand on our way. The general we voted the king is the one we need. This woman that came from only God knows where. It's not your problem for us. Please, I need her out. There are sick. Deep sick. That's the king, not the king. You need first to deliver the man for seeking to deliver the sick man. <laughs> the secrets are So many mysteries are coming up. You never told me you have a plasma TV here. That was Obwe Shagubandi's prime minister. Only we are exactly. I have to shut up. I have Makers of a I am aware that the king stole billions of people from the government as he was as a general. They want to tap into that and that was why they made him king. The utter modern town hall in this building that would have all the administrative offices is called and they will be right. Are you serious? Like seriously? Oh God, you brought up this trust issue because I do not trust you. You heard me. Leave him to me. I only showed you so you would know that we have a lot of forces working against us. Like I said before, if giving the general this money is the solution to this, then we shall give him this money, suck him dry, and leave him for others who are after. I can't remember changing my name from Ahana to Son. You know, this is to our advantage. And that's why I told Claire to let me handle this. Listen, Princess Oledo, I can't do this. Try someone else. Man, look at you for once, cooperate. Oh, I've not been cooperating. No? All right. All right, then. Let me go and tell the king about the system. What's wrong with you? That simply means I've been cooperating. Say that. Hannah, please, please, please. Can you please just take it? Can you do this? Please. You don't get it. The 
mere sight of me irritates that man. So how am I supposed to pull this through? This will make you pull through. So this magical facial cream from Madame Paul is no ordinary cream. You really should stop underestimating that woman now. I have not used any cream for some years now. So how am I supposed to believe this? Take it. This will work. And it will not take eternity. It won't even last forever. Use it. The moment he accepts you as his son, make him break the wheel and we're done. I bet even you will enjoy this. Just annoyingly beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. We are one. We serve the same master. We are not supposed to fight each other. Great woman of the waters beneath. To what do I owe this visit? I am glad that you still recognize me. I am honored to have you in my abode. It would have been better if I was here on a courtesy visit. But as it is, I am troubled. I am hot. Why? What troubles the most powerful being in the water spirit? He was here to secure the heart of his king. He alleges that a strange woman has gained her way into his heart and is preventing him from seeing those that made him king. Do not listen to him because he is not clean himself. The king is my host and the woman in question is my agent. Make your prayers to declare. We work for the dark lord. We do not need to war against one another. Discontinue whatever it is that you're planning with him. I do not want to have you in my bad books. I am on top of that game and I want it to so remain. <laughs> this is very exciting. More than exciting. I mean, things are just working out to our advantage a lot. <laughs> our next target is to get the king mm -hmm. to will everything in our hands name and not the orphanage. That's right. I never knew things would turn around like this. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Although, I have to admit I'm somewhat scared. Scared of what? Have you not thought about it yourself? What do you think will happen if Claire and Madame Paul get to know about this? In any case, I've thought about this severally. But I'm only consoled with one thing. Which is? That Madame Paul can never see us with her with the physical eyes. She can see everybody, but not us. <laughs> Going by what we know about her, she is bound to find out eventually. This is more later. A lot of women have worked and labored for Madame Paul and eventually died without anything. I link, I don't want to be added to that list. I am positive. This is our time. Do as I say. I am older than you in this order. So trust me. Mm -hmm. Yes. like I've been living in the future. Those pills really got to you. Brave General Alubale Zama. What? You have your set back. Uh, then you'll be alright. Okay. You'll be okay. Nothing can take this pain away from me except my eyes see my son. I don't even understand why I keep postponing this visit. You see why I almost killed you with those pills? Mm. 
very soon, my dear. Very soon you're going to see your son. Okay. So why not you go set your bath and change up? Let's go and see your son together. Can't take a shower. Men are claiming power. Men are claiming authority. But in secret, it's women that rule the world. Are you ready for this? The world of power. Tell me the side effects again. Okay. See, when you apply the magical content in that container on your face, the king, once he sets eyes on you, shall immediately be taken. And then, he will become overwhelmed by the sight of you. And you will become overwhelmed by the love and care that he will show you. Instantaneously, you will become the apple of his eyes. Then, you will make him right and sign the real. Does any of this look like side effects good enough for you to handle? Do you think? Um, opening up to you was one of the best decisions I've taken lately. I mean, you have suddenly become indispensable. I hope so. Now, let's get this over and done with. Prepare to meet the king before he starts talking about Obuchiko again. The world of power, the ocean beneath, from where Powell rules the world. Deep secrets, very deep, very deep secrets. If a million me, get a de madola. If a do me, me, get a chun de madola. I don't tell you to quit calling me that. I am not and will never be the father of a scum like you. I am off to take the my son. Darling, are you alright? Yeah. What was I saying? Uh, you were trying to say something to Anna. Oh, I remember. Okutubu. Yes, Daddy. Please go and make a cup of coffee for me. All right, Daddy. Easy, easy. All right. Well, I'm going to test that in the whole world. So, hit me. How did it go? It was great. Huh. And? Is it just great? It was enormously great. Hope you now get a picture. Just great? He has said it all. He said it was great. What else do you want to hear? I want to hear more. Say, say, say more. Waiting! I have said it was great. In fact, the general won't stop telling me how he had a fabulous time <gasps> with his son. Okuchiko. Okuchiko. Yes. Was Okuchiko with him today? Ah. No, 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 no. The point is this. He sees me as Okuchiko. He even calls me Okuchiko. I was just lucky that he never asked me to preach. <laughs> <laughs> that can be good. I mean, how is he supposed to sign the will in your name when he's calling you a Kuchiko? No, 
was he planning to sign the will in Ahana's name? What am I even saying? The will will be signed in, in, in Paul of an each name. Mm. But still, his name is not Okuchiku, and so it poses a problem for us. Name shouldn't be a problem here, okay? Of an age, Madame Poel, even if he decides to use Okuchuku for the will, Okuchuku is not a bad name. I can take Okuchuku as my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, right. Okuchuku is my middle name. <laughs> Okuchuku is my middle name. Oh, mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, my fellow elders in council, there is something I want to make very clear here now. I equally do not understand it myself. The same thing I was thinking. What is happening? How can all of them just fail us just like that? Even if you have the greatest of them all that has been working with me all this while, could you believe that I went back to Ophir Flago and all he could say was that I should leave the woman alone? Huh? Now, the question, question begging for an answer is how can we leave this woman alone? No, 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 my Prime Minister, do you mean you went back to Ophir Flago? And all he could do was to ask you to leave her alone? Very strange, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Listen to me. It's a she That woman is more powerful than we thought. This is the only explanation to it. Then, we need to unmask her powers. Yes, she's only a woman. She cannot hold us down. And then, then I need you to explain to me how we are going to unmask her powers. If not through the medicine men and the Juju priests of our Bodoku, I have been working with all of them. And they will always promise to do something. They will give me an appointment when I have to come back. By the time I will go back to them, all of them will tell me that I should just leave the king alone, that they cannot help me. Personally, I am not seeing the woman. I am seeing the king. Yes, yes. Let us pass a vote of no confidence on the king and remove him. Let us have a new king. Immediately. So that is it. A king cannot set a structure and be hijacking the kingdom revenue. Yet he will refuse to see the people. It is not possible. We won't allow that. The woman is the one causing all this. Let us ground her to a house. Ibenebu, are you a woman? Listen. I don't like dealing with men or mingling with men that discuss women. Yes, let us deal with the king. Sweat. By the time we finish dealing with the king, the woman in question will disappear into thin air. Mm. Yes. The money we are talking about is our kingdom money. It's our kingdom revenue. Yes. How can we be discussing the woman we don't even know her name? We don't know where she came from. Never married to anywhere. I so, win some bunch of busybodies. We are not. I have made things easy for you all. I have removed every obstacle from your road. You must try while the iron is hot. My lady, would that son of his be able to trust him? I do not want to talk about that war that destroys my world. All I want is my back. And I need you, my apostle, to tell me what you have done to ensure this. All I want is that you will be written, signed, and will to the office. My lady, as it is, he is determined to will everything to his son. Which you know, that is our power to do whatever he wants has been given to him. This is our idea, the ancient form of fairness, has no idea. What is my lady trying to say?
I've watched you for some time now. You cannot stop thinking about me. Are you still worried about our lesson? chose to look for us. If he decides to forget about us, then it's up to him. Yes. I can feel the vibes. I can clearly <laughs> see it too. He needs God's intervention. He is in the bondage of the devil. So you, you, you've said this before. And we've been praying for him. And you keep saying it over and over and over and over again. Why? I have this feeling that he needs help. Yes. I've risen in the apostolic ministry to know what it means when God lays such burden in the heart of a minister. Something is wrong. And God will not forgive me if I fail to find out what it is. Oh no, I don't understand you. Honestly speaking, I don't understand. I told you all we are working to see this project completed. The king has abandoned the project. Yeah, you. Yeah. Listen to me. He used his military experience to set up a structure whereby all the money coming into this kingdom as revenue are all channeled into a particular account that he controls as the king. Then suddenly he has turned around that nobody can see him. Nobody can see the king. Even the people that made him king are regretting why they did that now. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, for what? Why would the people believe so cheaply? Why? Did I hear you say cheaply? Uh -huh. This is a very serious issue, Hannah. Uh, there is a structure in place, and that structure nobody is finding it acceptable. Nobody has seen the king. Nobody can set eyes on the king. Even the cabinet members. Nobody has managed to enter that compound. Listen, listen to me, Anna. You are the heir to the king. You should know these things. That woman the king is having in the palace, that woman, I can tell you, is evil. She has issued an instruction to the officer at the gate not to allow anybody to come into the compound. Saying that the king was medically not stable. That was almost a month ago. From that time until today, nobody has seen the king. We have called him countless number of times. He will not answer the call and he is not returning any of these calls. Oh no. Honestly speaking, I'm just hearing this for the first time. I'm shocked. You don't need to be shocked. This is why I sent for you. Because there is something you can do. We, you know, we need to save the king. And we need to save our newly formed Obodupu kingdom. You are the one that can do that. And I want you to do it. Listen to me. I am ready to give you any assistance you need. You know, at least let us do something. <laughs> Ah, 
this is our final point you can't change your mind now we need you here uh, why this sudden change of mind anyway listen you guys are being unnecessarily greedy and i don't like it come on you've got the hospitals to your credit the malls to your credit the orphanage to your credit and other things that fetch you money that i don't even know is that the point why would you want the king to will the orphanage to you why it doesn't make sense to me why will the king die leaving no legacy for his people why but Anna, this has always been our goal and you knew it why this sudden change of attitude why do you suddenly have a problem with it i have no other father than general orobarezama who by divine providence is now king I think he deserves a better treatment. Ah, no, that man cannot be your father. Don't be deceived by the power of that mystic cream. Do not use it and see where you find yourself. Well said. But he sees me as his son, and that gives me leverage. Don't you think so? Ah, no, please, stop it. No, you stop it. And tell me. What will I be left with? What will the people of Obodogu be left with? Who are you concerned about? You or the people of Obodogu? It's wrong for a king to die without any legacy left. Listen, what we are doing and what we are trying to do will not only tear him apart, it will also tear the people apart. The people of Obodoku, which are his people. Anna, would you rather prefer him giving everything to those greedy men that made him king? Those men that move around him only to suck him dry? I'm oh, sorry, but everyone is not as good as you are. That boy doesn't look like someone that would do any good for us. At all. And we don't have to waste our time waiting for such a boy. No. Why we already have a neatly enshrined solution in our constitution? Let us explore that solution. In the course, there is something I, I want to make clear. You don't have to set the house on fire because of wrath. You are a credible man of this land, and you know it yourself, that there is no community in Igbo land where the tradition holds that you can kill a man who said nothing. As the Ugobuzwe Awakeli may not have done well, we all know that, but look at it closely and you will discover that something is behind it. Then what shall we do, my Prime Minister? What are we going to do? Wait forever for a woman that has visibly fisted with Satan? Why not let us solve our problem like men? In the bottom, I am still planning. I already verified from a banker who works in the very bank where our kingdom account is domiciled. And she confirmed to me that our kingdom account has not been misappropriated. As we speak, Deposits are coming on a weekly basis and there are no withdrawals. It simply means our money is intact. So let us, let us understand that yes, something is wrong but not completely wrong. My Prime Minister, it could be true but this is the very first king we are having as an autonomous community. You are aware of this? Of course, I know. Good. Our plan is to create a grade one king that at least will become the leader of the council of traditional Igbo leaders. 
Yes. But with what? The kind of pains our king has set on ground. I doubt if we're going to achieve that. I, I believe there is no cause for alarm. I do not have any regrets choosing you to be my partner in this. But with all due respect, sir, we have to tread with caution. So we left you to sleep over it. Hopefully now you can we can all reason it out. I'm still confused. I'm confused. All right. Mm -hmm. Let us calm down and understand the issue at hand. Madame Paul said that the cream she gave you gives you the powers to get the king to do whatever it is you want him to do. Huh? Get it? Why would Madame Paul want me to make the king sign everything to her advantage? Why am I sounding ridiculous? <laughs> Why are you sounding like a broken record? Do you want to trigger the tiger, you know, before you do what you're supposed to? Calm down, let me handle this. As you are handling it, remind him that the will must be signed before the end of the month. He knows you don't have time. Except you want to contend with him and I'm What rubbish is this? intelligent woman. She could have sensed our plans. Listen, someone has to tell them how greedy they are. Yes, someone has to tell them how greedy they are. And you think there is wisdom in that? You don't want to mess this up for us now, do you? She wants everything. She gave me limited time and to crown it all, she's ordering me around. What for? That is how the sisterhood works. Time. They work with time because there are so many other people whose wealth they are waiting to tap from. I keep sharing this same nonsense every now and then. How did we even get ourselves messed up like this? How? Well, we are already in this mess. Until the end, we must not give them reasons to suspect we are no longer with them. Anna, please, please don't do this. Don't start a war that could be our end, I beg you. Princess Oledo, bring out a sec and think about what dad stands and represents. The people are worried. Things are not working out fine. They are even regretting why they made him king. Anna, you cannot worry about everything at the same damn time. Oh. We'll tackle these issues one after the other, starting from the most important. Some like this one. Are better not say. You're just annoying the beautiful. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. Some truths are better. After all these years of knowing me, I expected you to have known that I'm not one of these ladies who hastily jump into making promises when I haven't found out everything I need to know. 
What else do you want me to explain that I have not explained already? You want me to get my sister to partner with you and the children of the king to get all that you can from the man. Now I ask you, what are my personal benefits? Maybe if you tell me, that will enable me to know whether I want to make a promise or not. Hmm? How did I forget I'm still dealing with the old lady, Claron? <laughs> I'm okay. You and I know that I'm not half as greedy as you are. Come on, speak in clear terms. I know why you left the sisterhood. It was because you were betrayed by Lady Claire. And Madame Paul supported her. Mm -hmm. And ever since, you've been looking for a way to take your revenge. And that revenge will be served when everyone has forgotten about the very decisive Lady Clarion. And it will be served cold. And you know, revenge is best said cold. <laughs> Guess Selena should talk to me. Or possibly, let her come and visit me. The plan I have will give Madame Claire a heart attack. Okay. And Madame Paul, her mission in the Boduku Kingdom will be paralyzed. Mm. Don't you want them to experience that pain? I kind of like the sound of that. Good. <sighs> Selena will call you later today. And I can assure you, she will work with you. Good. The ocean beneath, from where poor well rules the world. I don't trust Madame Selena. She looks sneaky to me. She appears that way because she's a disgruntled sister. But trust me, she's happy on the team. Hmm. So tell me. Who else do you want to add to the team? No one else. But I'm sorry if you feel uncomfortable with the addition. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not a greedy person. I mean, we're talking about a whole lot of money here. Yeah. Both in living cash and landed property. Yeah, sure, the money can go round. But here's the thing. I do not want to be betrayed. <laughs> no one will be betrayed. Thank you, lady. So how is it coming? How is Ahana? I can see you're enjoying this um, little bond between you and the general. And, um, yes. It's better than the fake love you have for him. I thought we should be discussing the massive achievement you've made from this um, massive bond. I have ever been your hourly reporter. I asked because I feel you, you are being distracted. Distracted? This whole mission itself is nothing but destruction. Have you been seeing Link lately? <laughs> Does she look like someone who is interested in my four inches? Ahana, if my suspicion is right, Link is not on our team. I am not comfortable with your association with her. Well, she's the same person who saved dad's life. He will have been dead because of those pills you gave him. Hmm. I've known Ling for a very long time. Ling never liked your mother, nor I. And she's very jealous of our association with Madame Powell. You have to be very careful. The last time I checked, freedom of association is still valid. I can see that I cannot restrict you. But you have to remain focused on the mission. And be very careful with Link. 
let her know you use you. Oh, everything has crumbled. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. They call each other sisters, yet they hate each other with passion. Some truths are better not said. A prince has become nobody. A princess has become nobody. Some truths are better not said. Thank you very, very much for bringing me close to my dad. The hidden truth is here. Yeah, I never run out of you. my people elected me to be their king. It's not just because I am well-traveled and massively connected, but because I am hardworking. You see, I was an army officer, okay. but that did not lead me to me. I also went into business and investments. And as we speak, I'm one of the five wealthiest people in the state. And I want you to at least be greater than me. Well spoken, Dad. <laughs> but you don't expect me to be greater than you by sitting around in this house. So oh, I thought we've already spoken about this before. I'm planning to open that company for you. Huh? Dad, you have to understand, for me, opening that company is my priority number one. I feel insecure because of the people floating around me. So by people you mean? The people of Obodoko. Claire, Princess Olive. And to crown it all, the orphanage. I believe you woke up one day and give away everything you have to them. Oh, come on, my dear son. You don't think your father is that daft? Huh? You have no reason to be doubtful. <laughs> I never said that. But don't forget. You are not getting any younger. And the age is not on your side. Uh, that's exactly what I am saying. And judging by the way I foresee these things, I am beginning to think that I don't need anybody to tell me to write my will. And I'm beginning to feel that I'm not even able to cope with the demands of the position of king given to me by my people. I am burdened. That's my point. Even the people of Obodoku are beginning to think that you are no longer committed to the cause. But that's not my main problem. Father, you need to write your will as soon as possible. Don't let that bother you. With a snap of my finger, I can always get the lawyer to write, to prepare the will immediately. And I'll sign it. You should know that you are my only son, and of course, everything I have belongs to you. <laughs> this idle women or people that idle away in their money bags houses. I am a busy woman that book her every appointment. Mm. I can see how busy you are. Good. 
I'll go straight to the point. Have you been talking to Ahana lately? Is someone feeling insecure already? I know he has been seeing you. For the reasons I'm yet to find out. Ling, are you trying to mess with me? Mess with you? On Ahana? Claire, stop it. I know that mission is taking a whole lot of your life. But don't let it make you stupid. What are you doing with the same boy that you've been banging before, the father? Only shut up. Shut up. This has nothing to do with sex. Stay away from him. Stay away from everything that has to do with my mission. Ahana is on my team. I want you to stop feeding him. Why not go for me? Because it's how I faced you. That is the revenge came. When you nearly killed him with those drugs, now you say I'm against you? Claire, I'm against you? We all know that you do not get involved in anything that you do not benefit from. Getting our hand that closer to you is one thing I am not comfortable with. He is the heart of my mission. Listen, Claire. I don't know what Ahana told you or what her options are. But I know that all I did was to save your ass. Even though I shouldn't. You need to start seeing me as a trust sister because that is what I am. Link, stay away from us. Poor you, Claire. I told you you are too small for that task. I told you. Watch and see how I will destroy you. I'm 
You don't understand the condition, man. No one can have access to the will until he is dead and gone. Well, if you must know, the sisterhood does not consign itself with the benefactor's dummies. Once the will is drafted and signed, they find a way of making desperation come faster. Madame Paul is greedy. She's equally impatient. She will end everybody that will stand in her way of getting everything written in the will. So in a nutshell, you're trying to tell me that once the will is signed, they will be killed, right? Madame Paul will end the general once she get the confirmation that the will is signed in her favor. But well, that is not going to happen because Madame Paul will not be getting the desired information on the will. In that case, I think you both should do the killing because the will is in our favor. All I'm saying, Ahana, is that I'm not Powell. I will do no such thing. So what happens then? Because I can't wait till he dies a natural death. All I want is for you to get him to sign the will. And forget about everything else. I will never harm Ugo Buzwe. I promise you that. Thank you. to do and he was just ready to do just that so what then happened to his palace he said the king did not see any reason why he should will everything to the orphanage why his only son goes with nothing he has the powers to make the king do all he asks and how he acts without asking questions <clears throat> my lady Anna is officially one of us. Yes. Though the will be written in his name, but it is still for the sisterhood. Now we are back to the same matter we discussed. Why can I not see the minds of those who are obedient to you? Why can I not see his mind? The only thing I want to see now is his mind. My lady, I think you should stop asking for the impossible. You know Ahana is now one of us. There is nothing that you will beg them for them to allow you to see his mind. Allowing you see his mind is like you seeing the forces behind our powers. And you know that they won't let you anywhere near that. Something is wrong somewhere. There are forces working against us. And that is why I wanted to be done with the king. This mission in his house has been the most difficult and challenging. I want that will written again and how I want it. I want this done immediately. I know how you're feeling, but it's not exactly what you're thinking. Your Majesty, you are the king of this kingdom. And strangely, you are unavailable to the people. How do we explain that? Well, I know I have been unavailable for some time now. But Minister, Prime Minister, you are there. 
The fountain is there. As well as in the Ibene room. Three of you are there. You can hold for. But your majesty, why are you saying this? Three of us are supposed to be assisting you run this kingdom and not take over from you. The building project has been abandoned. And that is because there is a way you have structured the revenue of this kingdom in a way that we don't have access to the account. Nothing happens without you. Well, I understand. Uh, I am sorry about that. Yes, it has been delayed, but certainly it will be completed. I'm just busy, that's all. Your Majesty, when you stand this way, it, it weakens me. Your Majesty, the king that rules over a kingdom to have the priority of that kingdom first. I am planning to sign my will. After that, I'll give all my time to my will. You're planning to sign your will, I don't understand. <laughs> what does that mean? And don't worry yourself. I'm not going to die tomorrow. But a man like me should be able to plan properly and ahead too. Don't you think so? The last thing I would take from you is you being unnecessarily lousy. Why did you allow that man into this compound? Listen, you can't separate the king from his people. You can't. I already did. Before you allowed them back in here. The way you behave, most times I can't help but wonder. What would an intelligent man like that find attractive in you? Is that what? an insult? How dare you talk to me like that, Anna? Listen, the earlier you understand this, the better for everybody. These people are his people. You can't separate them. Okay? You can't separate the king from his people. We have him bound in our powers before you allow that sneaky prime minister back here. Did you hear him talk about the kingdom? We've already passed that because we didn't want any competition. But all thanks to you. For now, he will begin to talk about Obudupu. All right. Buy him again. Like you said, you have powers. You, you've done it before, so buy him again. Why are you such a pain in the ass? Why do you derive joy? Pulling us back each time we take a step forward. Why? Because all I do every morning is to rub that smelly substance on my face and make that dance to your instrumental. You and your so-called sisterhood. Now tell me, if I was working to your advantage, is this the thank you that I will be getting? <laughs> I do not see the wisdom in that, my son. He is my father. But that is not all there is to it. I've been called to save his soul. I, I told you this, mother. God will not forgive me if he perishes. How? Oh. Please do not make me cry. Who said he's going to perish? Even when I was conceived, out of wedlock, God still called me into his apostolic and prophetic ministry. He is a mighty God that moves in a mysterious way. Mom, I see the hand of God in this. Please, support me. Support me. Let's reconcile this man back to God. Where can you find this man? I insist again that we are family. And that we must violently challenge the devil in his quest to take one of us. By so doing, every other thing will fall in place. I was with him. And we discussed extensively from all indications. It is clear he's about to sign everything to his son. All right then. Should his son now be our target then? Or should we violate our new constitution by making his son king after him? That question is out of order. You're not supposed to ask that in the first place. The whole thing is so confusing to me. And we are all here thinking of a way forward. How could that be possible? My dear Prime Minister, from all indications, we have made a very, very serious mistake. 
by voting him as the king. That is just it. So yeah. because, because he is a wrong candidate. There is something that we know already. We can't continue complaining about that all the time. What we need to do now is to find a way to make this man work. Let us understand that this man is very popular. He is known everywhere as the king of Obodo. And you can do it to him. He's a very popular man. We have a lot of things we can gain as a king. Having that kind of man as our king. Your Highness, are you sure about this? Well, Barrister, you're supposed to have known me all these years. Since you started working as my attorney after your father. Exactly my point, Your Highness. That puts me in a good position to advise you better. Okay, so what is your point? Your Highness, you are willing every, almost everything to earn. To me that is not, it's not balanced. <laughs> what are you, Barrister? Anna is my first and only son. So I want to ensure that when I am gone, that he has all the resources that will enable him maintain and continue the family name. So what are you talking about? I don't get it. I'm, I'm pretty confused here, Your Highness. Pardon me, please. Months back, you confided in me that Ahana and Oli are not your biological children. You told me you found that your old time lover bore you a son. I'm not barrister. What has come over you? Are you confusing me for some other clients or what? Listen, get focused. Who told you Ahana is not my biological son? And what old time lover are you talking about? Your Highness, you came to me with that information. You, you sounded absolutely Stop confused. it there. Enough of that, Barrister. What has come over you? I'm thinking so, Your Highness. You had better be. Listen. Listen to me. Go through that wheel as amended by me. Put the papers together and prepare them for signature. That will be all. Excited as we both. Is it because I'm not a woman? Exactly. You're not a woman. Anywho, as we speak, Madame Selena is on her way here. What for? Listen, I insist. Let's wait for him to sign the will first before celebrating. Mm. The man is already where I want him to be, so he should sign the will. I still insist. Let's wait for him to sign the will first before we can party. Mm. Party. <laughs> That's the word. Party. Anna, what kind of party would you like? Tell me. Listen, I can't count my chicks when the eggs are not hashed. I'm out of here. When he signs the will, you both will see how real men party. Beautiful notes. Whatever. How you got to see? Mm. It's very, very possible. Mm. Why are you saying like that? Cheers again. <laughs> What are my men in council afraid of? Your Majesty, we are not afraid. We are, are we afraid of anything? We are not afraid. No. no. <laughs> I sense fear in all that you have said. 
Listen, what I am planning to do will in no way affect the progress of this land. Your Majesty, would you not have a problem with your desire to stand your will at all? Our problem is that we believe that forces are working against our land. That is our problem. And what do you mean by it? forces are working against our land? Uh, it may sound silly, Your Majesty, but that's just the truth. The forces are the reason you turn your back on us for close to six months now. And we believe they are behind this your quest to sign and will all that we have to your son. Yes. Wait a minute. Do I take it to mean that my elders in council are against my son? No, Your Majesty. We are not against your son. Then what? No, we have no reason to be against your son. We are only pleading with you that you should just take a very long pause and reconsider your decisions, Your Majesty. Yes, that. I've already taken my decision and that must be respected. This is my personal decision and I don't want anybody to talk about it any further. I will sit up in my area of lapses. I don't want anybody to discuss it again. The signing has been fixed. You are all invited. Ahana, why are you a stumbling block to my mission? Excuse me. Did you just call me a stumbling block? Me, Ahana, a stumbling block. Princess Oledo, did you hear that? Calm down and listen. No, she should calm down and do the listening. Are you blind towards my efforts or what? All right. Breaking news. That will will be signed tomorrow. Cut you off to me. You can go ahead, Ahana. Ahana, you can go ahead and mention all that you have achieved. But do you, Ahana, also realize that bringing those men to the king can ruin all your hard work? Why are you this stubborn and stupid? What is wrong with this woman for crying out loud? Listen. They are his people. You can't take him away from them. I was already doing that before you open that door for them once again. Ahana. You ought to know by now that those men are selfish. So much so that Madame Paul has told us that they have selfish plans with the king. Oh. We do not wish to contend with them. Hence, Claire's idea that we keep them away, at least for now. <laughs> do you understand it now? Did you see the looks on their faces? Did you? Let me have the keys. You just told me that they did not support you signing the will. So what is right in their move coming here to discourage you? They have every right to question some of my decisions. Don't forget, these people are an integral part of this kingdom. Writing and signing the will has nothing to do with the political. Or oh, has it changed? Are they not included in the plans? <laughs> Claire, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, by the way, where is my son? I haven't seen him today. Can you please go and get him for me? Ahana went out. But I want to know, is the plan still on? Or did your men in council succeed in making you change your mind? I'm not trained to have you in my office. Welcome. I can see that nothing has changed in this office ever since my last visit. 
Is that why you keep running to the king? Because you ran out of food. I warned you to stay away from Alubale Zama. Why are you headstrong? If you had not failed to add the title king to that name, Arbale Zama, then maybe you would have known why the Prime Minister would not keep away from the king. Uwefi, do you know who you are talking to? You are not the queen yet. <laughs> and you carry yourself as you position as if you are more powerful than the king. What is your mission in this kingdom? I did not come here to answer your questions. You see, you trying to stop the king from signing the will was a very bad move of the past. Why did you do that? Do not confirm my suspicion. You are the one who is pushing the king to urgently sign his will. Will that in any way accomplish your mission? Obuefi, since you cannot keep your parasitic self away from the king, I advise that you allow him to perform his other duties. Even though you suck from the king. Have I made myself clear? I guess I have. Do not make me repeat this visit. Who is this woman that has this kind of grip on the king of Obodubu kingdom? What does she want? I called you out because I know you have come a long way with the king, especially when his wife was alive. Barrister James? Yes. Is there any problem? I'm not comfortable with the girl. Are you? Of course I'm comfortable with it. Is there anything wrong with it? You see, some months back, the king came to me with this very difficult information to believe. I'm sure you know about what I'm talking about. You see, Barrister James. Yeah. It would be better for us that you go on a plain language. Go straight to the point. They're waiting for us inside. Eh? Okay. Okay, let it clear. Um, the king told me that Ahana and Oledo are not his biological children. Of course I know about it. You know about it? Of course I do. How is that the problem? The problem is he's willing everything to Ahana. And I'm not comfortable with that. You know, it's abysmally wrong. Uh, Legally, uh, Bar Barrister James, yes. do you need my advice? Of course, that is why I called you. Now out. that is true. The king paid you very well to do this job. Hmm? Yes. 
So do this job as he has instructed and go home peacefully with your money. Is that clear? Now let's go in there with him for us. Um, since we are all in agreement, let me proceed with you. Let me have the witness. Come in, please. Where's that coming from? From outside, I guess. Let me see also. Ah, uh, Anna, don't worry. Let me go and check. Huh? Let nothing disrupt this process. Stand by your father. Let's see this thing. <coughs> okay, Anna. I think we are still good to go. Yeah. I think the signing of this will can wait. Let's solve this problem first. Okay, Your Highness. Can I sign on this behalf? Oh, you can. Thank you. My lady, what are you doing here? No one dares me, Claire. What are you talking about? The king is at the verge of signing the will, and your presence here will destroy virtually everything. I want that process terminated immediately. What are you saying? If Selena had not come to me with the information, they would have succeeded in fooling me. Now you are confusing me. When he asked that the will be written in his name, you defended him, saying he is one of us. Little did you know that that fool had his plan. Claire, what is going on there? Have you found the source of the whistling? Darling, uh, with my friend Natasha. Was she the one that whistled? No, she was actually coming in when I came out. Oh, okay. Natasha. It's a pleasure meeting you in person, Your Highness. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Why don't you take your friend in? Of course I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me get the gate. Your Highness, uh, you want to abandon this event for a visitor you don't even know about? Oh, come on, Claire. This is a palace where the king lives. Everyone is free to visit. I had to send the soldier boy back to the barracks because my people were beginning to complain. I'll get the get. Take her in. Okay. Now. Thank you. 
I can't remember inviting you to this occasion. No. The question is, what are you two up to? Forgive my manner. Uh, Meet my friend, Natasha. My people. Another beautiful nonsense. We have guests. Very filled, Reverend Okuchuku. Okay. Yo, Zan, how could you bring these strangers in an important occasion like this? Here, here, take care of them. You know what I mean? Okay. Light and darkness have nothing in common. Today we've walked into the powerful hands of the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Today marks your end. He's a man. At the mention of that name, Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. You shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening here? Your consuming flame on your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not come down. Pour out your consuming flame on your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Like a blessing fire, Lord Jesus, the sweat and water. Remove in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. What else were you looking for in the king's will? You greedy brat! I don't know who he you're talking about. But he actually, obviously he dealt with you. And I doubt if you will survive it. Yes, you're right. He has destroyed the silver cord that gave me life. I know I would not survive this. But I am also going along with everything that belonged to me. 
I am the shepherd goddess of greed. I leave nothing for no one. Hopefully this will finally do it for me. My lady will eventually recognize me and treat me right. This is the best decision that I've ever made. What are you doing here? Where is my lady? I think I'm losing my life. Where is our lady? I know how frustrated you are. Did you lead me into that? Did I lead you into what, my lady? You knew about the impending danger. You knew that a foolish brain boy was going to be dead. Yes, you let me. This is about your plan to destroy me. No, my lady. All I did was try to save us from the back house. Lean and cold. I don't know what you are talking about. My lady, how could you have trusted a disgruntled fellow like Madame Selina? Look at what she has cost us. I think I've lost everything that gives me life. Ha! He has destroyed me. The moment I set my eyes on him, I smelled danger. Same reason I avoided him and his likes. I am not equipped to face him. I am leaving, and I must get all that belongs to me. most is that you've been delivered from the bondage of the devil. The bondage? How is that connected with anything? Where did this document come from? The will. You were on the verge of signing it. I tried to stop you, but... Your Highness, are you sure about this? Well, Barrister, you're supposed to have known me all these years. Since you started working as my attorney after your father. Exactly my point, Your Highness. That puts me in a good position to advise you better. Okay, so what is your point? Your Highness, you are willing every, almost everything to us. To me, that is not, it's not balanced. <laughs> Why would that bother you, Barrister? Anna is my first and only son. So I want to ensure that when I am gone, 
that he has all the resources that will enable him maintain and continue the family name. So what are you talking about? I don't get it. I'm, I'm pretty confused here, Your Highness. I don't know the Months back, you confided in me that Ahana and Oli are not your biological children. You told me you found that your old-time lover bore you a son. I'm not barrister. What has come over you? Are you confusing me for some other clients or what? Listen, get focused. Who told you Ahana is not my biological son? And what old time love are you talking about? Your Highness, you came to me with that information. You, you sounded absolutely Stop confused. it there! Enough of that, Barrister. What has come over you? I'm deeply sorry, Your Highness. You had better be. Listen. I thought I should win this selling. Listen to me. Go through that wheel as amended by me. Put the papers together and prepare them for signature. That will be all. C'est là fait vous pisse, Your Highness. Indeed, the devil is a liar. I saw the manipulation, but you wouldn't let me talk to you. Can you imagine that? What is this? Um, it's okay. Huh? What really matters here is that you've got what you so longed for. Salvation. So that alone should make you happy. Can you imagine those bloody civilians? They dead a senior army officer like me. How can I get hold of them? I want to lay my hands on them. Your Majesty, we knew all this while that something was wrong somewhere, but we were not able to place it. Because you weren't acting like you at all. <laughs> you mean you noticed the foolishness that took over me? Your Majesty. Who did not? Every single person in this community did. Not with your avoidance of your people and being unwilling to support any project. I can't believe this. You mean I structured the kingdom revenue into one account that only you were controlling? How possible is this? It was possible, Your Majesty. It, was, but it happened. As a matter of fact, what we now know is that the Prime Minister was right all this while. Yes. He kept defending you because he said you were actually not acting with a clear understanding. This is unbelievable. No, but your majesty, you have to believe it. Because that woman was more than Jezebel. She was deadlier than Jezebel. The important document cannot go in his plan from the parties. Have you inquired from everyone? General Johnson, I am talking about a confidential document that I left in my inner room, not outside. My inner room. In that case, that document should be somewhere in the inner room. Alright, we stand by. But we have searched virtually everywhere. It's not here. But I do not see any reason why anyone would not be killed himself or herself over a piece of paper. It's not a matter of life or death. Johnson. Johnson. That document is a document that gives me access to my GOE pension in the UK. That document is what? Billions of Naira. Oh, now you see the picture. Why it seems like I want to kill myself without it. There was this structure that she set around you that practically hijacked you. You were not behaving now. You know that document I lost? The one that almost gave me a heart attack? 
Yes, yes, the document for GOA pension. Yes, Claire found it today. No. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, now you see why I'm <laughs> over the moon. <laughs> this is, this is, this is absolutely fantastic news. Well done, Claire. Well done. Come on, princess. We're in this together. It's okay. I know, right? Sorry, I, I don't get it. Am I the only one here who does not understand what is going on? You mean Claire found the documents and brought them back? Mm-hmm. You just no. have that. No. She's not a kind of woman. The Claire I know will disappear with the documents. I won't say that it's all good. Beautiful nonsense. Congrats, Dad. As for you, Claire. Sorry for your loss because I know you will definitely regret your action. I have dirty on this upstairs to wash. It's better than this. Claire, documents, Nobody was able to get close to you. We were locked out from this palace. Even at the point, we the men in council. We were not seeing the idea of getting rid of the woman. It didn't need to cost us anything to kill this woman. The metaphysical way. The means is the important thing. It will not cost us anything, at least through metaphysical yes. ways. Yes! Of course. Of course. What, 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 Did I, I hear you both say to you? We are going to kill that woman and her blood will be on your head. Yes. No! And her and her blood will be upon your head. That was a very bad period in our young history as a newly founded community, Your Majesty. Uh, well, we are glad you are back to us now. Back to your people. Welcome back to your eyes. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. yes. <laughs> your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty. These people here are the, the gaps and the maidens that we have brought to serve you, to wait on you, the way you're supposed to be as a king. Something we have planned to do all this while, but the evil woman that came from only God knows where to hijack the palace, the children didn't allow us to do that. Now that the opportunity has presented itself, we are doing this. They are for you and they are at your service, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Prime Minister. Thank you, Elders in Council. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have always known that my people care for me. Yes, you do. And like I said, on the day I was crowned king, I would never let my people down. <laughs> and we're not going to let you down, too. <laughs> Oh, my dear son. <laughs> come in, come in. Thank you. <laughs> I promise to come and see you. Uh, please have a seat. Have a seat. So here am I. <laughs> How are you doing? You have done very well, my son. Um, um, meet my son, Okuchuku. Okuchuku, meet my men in council. These are the people I rule Oboduku with. You just, did you see yourself? Yes. There is something going on. Father revealed it to me. Um, well, I, I, I forgot to tell you that he is also spirit filled and an instrument of God Almighty. Spirit filled. This is our palace. That is all I ask of you. Please. I do not have a problem with you having your son back. The son in question is no longer a child. He can make his own decisions. But you are his mother. Esther, you are the only parent this boy has known all this while. And as such, you can influence his decisions. The truth is that 
Reverend Okuchuku would like to have you back. Especially now that you've given your life to Christ. I will not try to stop him, I will not. But this thing of, of, of coming back to you together again, I, I, I don't understand that. I know. I know how difficult it is for you to come back to a man who treated you badly in the past. I know. But Esther, this is my only chance of making it up to you. You and Ukuchuku are the only ones I have left in this world. Forces that are mightier than me came to destroy the land. But by the grace of God and through your prayers, God saved me. Please, Esther, come back to me. And together we can build a kingdom, a prosperous kingdom. We are Jesus Christ, we rule in holiness and in love. No. No! I will never give up on her. She was the first. And she will be the only one. Once again, we have to thank you so much, my dear Prime Minister. At least for standing your ground. It has ended in praise. And we owe everything to you. You know, as a person, you don't have to single me out for praise. This is collective victory for everybody. Hmm. We all work hard for it. <laughs> this is why I said you are a good man. You see, there is a deliberate process going on in our land now. We all must allow God to conclude the work he has started. Once again, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and thank you again. <laughs> it's a possible. <laughs> How do you want me to do that? Mom, you confided in me that you loved this man so dearly, even though he broke your heart. Son, love is not enough. We are talking about here is marriage. I mean, how can I get married at this age? I'm in my 50s. It doesn't matter, Mom. It does matter, son. It does matter. Do you think I'm single because I never had men propose to me in the past? I had so many of them. Yes. I decided to dedicate my life to the service of God. And then God called you at an early age into his ministry. I'm here with you. The last thing on my mind is marriage. Please. You can have a happier life, mother. You love this man. And he loves and wishes to bring you back. And most importantly, he's your beloved son's father. Son, I don't know why you're asking me to do this. I am old already. And the last thing on my mind now is to get married and let any man dictate my happiness. I'm okay the way I am, son. I am. I understand your fears. I do. I will not ask you to go against your will. But I want you to think about this. Why am I still unmarried? Can you still remember how many times I planned to pick a wife and something will always come up to halt the move? Don't you think God has a hand in it? By holding everything because he wanted to reconcile my parents before I start my own family. Mother, I want you to think about this. I want you to pray over this. But in all, always remember that whatever decision you take, 
you will always be part of my life and ministry because we built it together. Say it loud, say it clear. The kingdom is in safe hands. The demons are hanging up for nothing because a military man is in power. It is a lot of no nonsense. You need not to say a word of thanks about this. Somehow I feel I do not deserve this kind of consideration. <laughs> Everything has been planned from the beginning. Hmm? You do not know how happy and elated I am that we finally reunited with you. <laughs> Thank you, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Evil has returned to my home. Evil has returned to my home. It's okay, Father. Calm down. Dad, please. We are here to apologize for everything. We are so sorry, please. Forgive us. I'm sorry. Forgive you? For what crime exactly? Dad, I I don't know how to explain this. I don't even know how to fix it, but just find a place in your heart to forgive us. I don't know how we got involved in all this. I don't need any of your explanations. Your explanation, I'm sure, will be better in the ears of the police. Eh? Police? Yes, please. Hold on, please. We're sorry. We are awfully sorry. Please. Yes, you should really be sorry. Uh, Pastor Okwi, please cut the call. I don't mind like I'll call police. Cut the call first. It's okay. And Father, they were used. They were victims, just like you were. Who are the victims? Which victims? They were just bloody thieves and thrusters who wanted to take away everything I have. It's okay, Father. Bloody civilians. Please forgive them, please. Please. For my sake. Please. <coughs> pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cast away all evil deposits in your lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let them be uprooted and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mareka Centro Bosa, Lipare de Bosa, Mareka Centro Bosa, Rica 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 Centro I cannot pretend about this. I don't feel safe about this. You have to trust me, Father. They are safe. Anyway, I can tell. The way I saw you cast out demons from their bloody civilian hearts. Anyway. So. What about them trying to haul away my assets? Because as far as I know, these people are criminals. I can't trust them. Father, you have to understand that they did all they did because of the spirit that was possessing them. Hmm? You can't abandon them now because you are the only family they have. Listen, Ujo, I do not want to ruin the chances I have with you and your mother. Trust me, Father. Mother will not feel so good to hear that they came and you turned your back on them. Tell me that there is no orphanage. For I've visited there several. Of course there's an orphanage. But it's not what you thought it was. 
What is it then? The devil speak? First of all, one didn't own it. It belonged to the queen of the sisterhood. Mom and Claire only walked far. You mean your mom and Claire deceived me into believing that they owned the orphanage? about all this, all this while. So you ganged up with them against me? Honestly well, speaking, Dad, I can't even explain how I got myself involved in all that. I know what the saints got. They used me. They used me. I know how it all started. And I was getting in the way of Claire. She couldn't carry out her duties or accomplish her mission with Ahana always proving to be a stumbling block. And so she needed Paul's help to put a permanent solution to it. I cannot believe that you let him distract you. He's a constant distraction to the king. My lady, I need your help. Whatever you can do to put him in order or to put him in check would be highly appreciated. I should have done this long ago, but I never thought that he would be a distraction to my mission. It is time to reclaim him. I own you and your brother as long as this mission is concerned. I chose to let him go scum free. But tonight, I shall summon his soul and I shall take full possession of him until everything that the king has is torn to pieces. Yes. Can you bring it here without protest? It shall happen. I shall bring you here and get a mission. You never saw me find yourself here. Exactly. Why would someone like you to go sleep when you ask me because it's a down party to suffer? No, you shut up and listen. I should be more talking. I, doing here? I will have no one stand in the way of my mission. Your constant antagonism towards Claire is slowing down things for us. We only work in an atmosphere of peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, what do you mean by us? We. What is us? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Can someone tell me why I'm here? What she saying? Aha. Your eyes on mine. My eyes on yours. As what? Ahana! Your eyes on mine. Now. I can't see any money printing machine in your eyes. Is she okay? <laughs> How the hell did you do that? You should have told me some I believe you from this. I used to love the girl as a child. How did you I'm very sorry. You're sorry? Will you be sorry for me tonight? This will all come. My soul needs to rest. Please. Oh, 
took the silver cord and set me free. Your net. How do I set your soul free? I have done a lot for this sister. You cannot take it away from me just because of this mistake. It is no And if it's you are foolish. This mission that you have failed to complete means everything to this sisterhood. Don't you understand that? Take my children. Make them yours. Make them complete the mission. I will utterly give them to you. Thank you. Serious. What was that for? Oledo. She just took me on a ride. She was very careless. She messed up and deserved nothing but death. But then, she and Claire came to me with their plans. Wait a minute. Is this a secret call or something? If yes. How is my father in Oledo, are you part of this nonsense? Claire is sucking the king dry. Oh, you shut up! Your mother did not accomplish her mission in that house. Claire is here to make sure of that. So you and your sister will give her all the help she needs. Am I understood? No, I'm lost. What are you talking about? The mission. Is everything about the orphanage. The king must will all he has through the orphanage. He becoming king is a problem to us. We never saw it coming. So we must accomplish this mission before he becomes very committed to the kingship. So what happens to me? What happens to his children? Why would he will everything to you? Why? Ahana, you had a choice to either cooperate or not. But from now on, I have made my own choice. You shall quit fighting Claire, but instead be loyal and force. Please, I came to tell you that we're preparing to leave for the orphanage. And I was hoping today might be a good day for you to come along. Making sense, I need to. At least let me see how far that has gone with the orphanage thing. I'm refreshing up. Ooh, here we go. Now the journey will get even smoother. Thank you, my lady. Thank you for the secret initiation into the deep secret. That night, she succeeded in capturing Ahana's soul. But in the next morning, he forgot about all his hatred for Claire. Claire, Claire. Claire, Claire. Wow. Did I not the name of the king living? 
See, my children, especially my son, coming with my woman that he hates. Hey, make that hatred. Because all that, it's all in the past now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yep. I've been observing them silently for days now. Does it mean so much to you, seeing I and Claire together? Oh, certainly does. <laughs> So what will happen if I propose to her? What? Just kidding. That <laughs> was just a joke. I would, be. I would have made use of my AK-47 right away. <laughs> Who doesn't want a happy family? You deserve it, darling. Hmm. I always knew that I and I would come around. Well, and here we are. I strongly believe that my son has now grown into a responsible and mature young man. One who is growing some brains too. Exactly. I think I should start grooming him to come after me as king. With his state of mind now, I'm sure he will win in that election. In the well, Dad, that can only happen on one condition. You need to add beautiful maidens to the package. Oh. oh. Don't worry, we're just beginning. Ubudubu is just starting. By the time we grow into a kingdom, and then by the time I become the chairman of the Council of Traditional Rulers, I'm going to certainly add that to the package, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, Ahana made us proud today. Mm. Could you believe he gave 500,000 naira to the orphanage? Wow. I've never known that my son had such money to give. Or has he started dealing in drugs? Oh. Hello, I'm still here and I can hear. <laughs> you all sound like I'm not here. This is I'm proud of you, man. Beautiful nonsense. Excuse I me. am proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I have good enough. Years of work, and teaching, working, opening, and not, not for one, but then by the head. Well done, baby girl. Well done, baby girl. I see you. Well done, baby girl. I see you. Yes, we see her. <laughs> see me, guys. <laughs> see you. Shall I see you? I yeah. see you. Yeah. We see you. I'll take you guys. Whatever compliment I can get, I'll take it. Well done. Well done. Wow. Only do. Well, it's okay. Everything is all right now. The good Lord Jesus Christ has won the battle. Hmm? Everyone has been set free. It's okay. The Bible says that whoever the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. But Reverend, what happens to all those innocent children at the orphanage? Well, uh, I suggest you turn it over to the government. But before then, I will organize a deliverance section for all the children there. That sounds better. Huh. You know such children. Just when my world was coming to an end before my eyes, I found a treasure that I had lost. That treasure is you, Esther. <laughs> when you came back into my life, every darkness disappeared. I vow to cherish you now and forever to keep you by my side for the rest of my life. My name will be written in the Guinness Book of Records mm. Mm. <laughs> as the luckiest man that ever lived. Ah. <laughs> because today, I make you mine. And forever, mine shall you be. <laughs> hey!
There has been a vacuum in my life. Although sometimes I try to deny it, nothing was able to fill it. But today, I look into your eyes and I realize how you fit perfectly in this vacuum. <laughs> my soul has longed for you. And I thank God that I found you. How blessed I am to have my first love as my last love. Um, give me your hand. By the power vested upon me as the true servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare you man and wife. <laughs> And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. I bless this union Amen. in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You may kiss your bride. Oh, congratulations. I love the way you kiss. I love the way you kiss. I love the way you kiss, daddy. I love the way you kiss. But Oh, no, man. 